Hey, <clears throat> what's up, everybody? I'm doing another live today. You know, a lot of time my show is about um, shining spotlight on Liberian, especially Liberian or either you have certain story. Okay, my guest is coming on. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So right now, I just went live when you joined. So just so you know, we are live. Okay. How you doing, my Jew? Uh, Jew hanging in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, everybody, this is Comfort. She's my, I always call her my Jew. Mm -hmm. um, Comfort has a very interesting, and you know, she has some interesting thing that she'll be telling us today. You know, a lot of us, we the new generation of Liberia, we uh, we wouldn't know about um the previous administration and back in the day when they used to say sweet liberia you know all that time we don't really know much about what was going on and i like to talk to people that were in that area you know working or who were you know there at the time so comfort was in um liberia at the time during um top of time no time so hopefully she can tell us some of her experiences. And I hope that young people can learn from these things. You know, uh, my father telling me a lot of things about Liberia. It really helped me a lot to understand what was going on at the time because nobody can tell the story better than somebody who, who witnessed these things. Uh, some of us, we only go where they say, I say, but so how you doing, my Jew? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the all the guys that are watching, let me let me let Angeline come first before I say that. All the huh? guys that are watching, y'all when I even try my juice. <laughs> <laughs> Angeline, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the show. You this is my Jew, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So I know all the little chamo the, the all the Facebook getting, they'll be thinking, oh. You know, you, we didn't know you got Jew. Now y'all know I got Jew. Nobody <laughs> impressed me. In <laughs> Talimo. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is Angeline. By the way, she's um, she's uh, talking to us from the UK. Mm -hmm. And I brought her on because Angeline is one of those really open-minded people. And, you know, she's very supportive of, of everything Liberia. And mm -hmm. I think this kind of conversation we are having, someone like Angeline, I thought she would find it very interesting. And mm -hmm. she's my co-host too, you know, oh. and so hopefully she will have something to ask, you know, she can ask you if she want to know, you know, some things. But can you, can you tell us a little bit about you? You don't have to say anything personal that you don't feel comfortable with. Oh, wait. Okay. My name is Comfort Henry, right? Now like I'm married to Mr. Henry. Mm -hmm. I was born in Jianju, Bon County. Mm -hmm. And I was born with a name, Jianju. Mm. You got point that town, they, they name me after the town. Then Jianju Gladia Wei. That's my, my birth name. Mm. So I'm for Henry because you know I went to I told you before I went to live with a lady in Liberia for my parents from the village. Mm -hmm. They couldn't read and write, so they wanted me to, to get an education. And they took me to this woman and she she couldn't pronounce my name. She said, you know how they call it Congo people by whom? Mm -hmm. The African, we call them African American, but those days we used to call them Congo people. Mm -hmm. So, but now we, we know that they came from Africa, I mean, America, free slaves. Yeah. We didn't know that when I was going to school as a little girl, I didn't know that they were free, they were slaves in America. They didn't tell us, they just yeah. said they were settlers. Because they were, they were like the white people of Liberia at that time. Right. They yeah. called it just settlers. They didn't yeah. say we were free, we were slaves, they freed us. And then they brought us back here in Africa to go one to own our own place now. They said they were setting us that all we learned those days. And I wonder my mother can't read and write. Therefore, this is a new, 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 new thing that came in the country now. People gotta to go to school and then A, B, C, D, and all they had their own way of doing school, schooling and all that. But then they dominated the, the people, our, our people now, the indigenous people. So we wanted to be like them too, you know, to fit in society. You must change my name to comfort us. I just want to tell you a little bit about my name now. How I got a comfort name. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm from Liberia. I was born in Liberia. I grew up in Liberia. I came to America at the age of, in my 
uh, in my late twenties, and I've been here uh, over thirty-five years now. I think so. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm here. I live in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Nice. Yeah, thank you so much for coming here because you know when we were talking on the phone, I was so interested in the story. You know, by the way, let me clarify that Jew thing that I was saying. Even my own mother, I always call her my Jew because yes. I always tell her that she's the first woman in my life. Okay. So when I we were talking, she came on the show because she was nice to me. So I also call her my Jew. And she, 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 I'm sure she, I'm her Jew too. So now <laughs> we, we clarified that part of it. I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, thank you so much for coming. Um, Sally, thank you. Um, yeah, so Sally, <laughs> don't call my name. <laughs> Sally, thank you for coming. You know, it was too late. I already said that before I saw your text. Um, Sally is somebody who, you know, worked with us. So thank you, Sally, for, for coming um, on the show. Thank you for always supporting me, by the way. Um, but anyway, um, I know when um, during Tommy time, you were, you were, based on what you said, you were little, you were a little girl, right? Um, yeah. Well, what's your experience from that Tommy time? Before we get to the other people, I just want to do it step by step. What was your experience? Some people call Tommy a good president. Other people may have their own to say, but that, I think it was the time people used to call Liberia a sweet Liberia, right? So what was your experience like? Um, according to what, because I was very young when Tottenham was president. He died in 1971. Mm -hmm. I, I was a teenager, pre-teen, you know? So what I know about Tottenham, the people used to love him. Mm. When Tottenham used to go places, he would give money to the old people, he gave money to people. So people always wanted to go when they say Totmo come here, everybody want to go there. Because when you lock it, it's not everybody give money to now, but mm -hmm. like, we winning the lottery, okay? When you lock it, you get money that day and you you take a news in your village. Mm -hmm. So when they say Totmo come here, oh my God. He was like a who call it today, they say bite and blow. He used to bite you and then by his night, he blowing you. Mm -hmm. I feel the pain. And by that time, La Brua, the people were not, they were not real exposed to all of, you know, like some Culture. of us. Oh, yeah, we travel now, we know, we know better. Yeah, so, so he was, they, they consider him a good man. But mm. today, if you look at it, he wasn't actually a good person. Mm. What do yeah. you think? Why do you think so? Because the people, the people were not educated. They haven't traveled, mm. you know. They haven't traveled to see what happening. All so, so, so what you see, the little thing they gave them, the thing, a big deal when they right. could have a lot. Yeah, it was big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, like this, the, the, like some of us, we travel out here. We got to see real ro like roads and things like that. And at that time, in like they're up to now. Mm -hmm. You know, we still haven't had a very good of uh, the major role have not been. We don't have good role connectivity. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I understand from your point of view what you were trying to say. But I, yeah, so so Angeline, do you have something to ask? Because I know you're my co-host. I don't want to forget about you. Not mm -hmm. because I see my Jew now. We can just <laughs> be talking and we forget about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying the story. What um, she's saying about Tottenham. Um, people people said that he was a good president. At that time, I wasn't born, so I really don't know the full story, but I'm really enjoying what yeah. she's saying and, um, yeah, trying to get yeah. some yeah. information. But one thing I want to say, one thing I want to learn based on some of the video clips that some of us have seen and, uh, and you know, that we watch and following up to understand our country better, uh, Tommy, the difference between Tommy and them administration and our modern administration is that many Liberian leaders nowadays, they suck up to everybody. And, you know, like the big country, because they are big country, so they suck up to them. But one thing I learned during those times, people like Tommy, they were very respected. They were ahead of everything. Even funding, like funding the, the United Nations, funding ECWA, you know, um, the African Union. All of that, you know, Liberia was way at the forefront. 
So at that time, I think that's that's the best thing. That's the best leadership. That's the thing I like about the leaders at that time. They were very tough. They were strong. I watched a video clip. Tom and went to England, and the Queen Elizabeth were waiting at the app, uh, at the train station for him around the place. I saw that video clip. I was I was really you know I felt good about it. I'm the what's up with our Liberian leader these days? Like they are all soft. They are not like it's like no really respect. They are not taking charge on the global level. Everybody want to say yes, whatever you tell me to do. But anyway, that's just my opinion. So that's the only thing I used to like about Tom and he was very strong and active based on some of the things that I saw. But I understand what you were saying about that idea of when they give you little thing, you think, yeah, it's big because you are not educated, you are not exposed to the outside world to see what you could really get. Yeah, you could get more than that. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, so I, I understand. Um, but tell us a little bit about Tobba time. I know by that time you were you were a little bit younger. Yeah, by that time I remember when Tottenham was in power now and then Tottenham died and he was a vice president for Tottenham. Now this only one Tottenham died and he became president. Mm. So president for Tottenham for long time, you know, they said they had democracy, but they had only one party. Mm. For a two week, a true week party. Mm -hmm. It was party mm. government, but they had only one party system. So he 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 was vice president for for Tottenham for a very long time. When Tottenham died, he took over, and then he he began to bring some changes. That Tottenham town people got to wear coat suit, you know, with a tie. Mm -hmm. They changed the dress code. And I, I, he was trying to change some the West, uh, mm. of course, the West, you know. Mm. They didn't like that because for Tottenham, he was like a puppet. He's so using. They mm. gave him money, then he can't get little to the people. Mm. And then whatsoever they want him to do, he would do it. But then when Tottenham came, Tottenham came, he started to change things. Oh, okay. Then I think the West got against him. But mm. I can tell you for sure, but today when we sit down, some of us who saw it, we know that somebody they didn't like him. Because mm. he was trying to bring change. Okay. To country. So he was there, then 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 they came, they killed him, though they killed him. Mm. But those say he didn't kill him, but we don't know who did it. Yeah. Yeah, he did it, some pussy did this. I don't know. I yeah. it, you know. Yeah. But he was trying to change. The, not, the dynamic of, uh, yeah. you know, the, like the scene that happened in Niger now, right? Yeah. You heard that story, right? They took it yeah. there, but they, they pull. Oh, I, I recent time, for some reason, I started overstressing about news that I stopped watching news for some reason. Yeah. yeah for some reason, I said the only thing that will scare me these days is either alien invasion, maybe then that we all, we will be concerned, but now, is yeah. that this news, huh? Yeah, because now when you listen to the news, it's all about yeah. everything. So it's just yeah. like, okay, I'm not even watching it now. Me too, me too, I, I, I but it, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just, and I work in the media, I work in the media out here, mm -hmm. so I know how the news is written. The bad, the negative news, it's always got the click if they do that news in iraq that oh mm -hmm. there's they make you somebody make you believe that oh if you go to your iraq you can't even walk on the street mm -hmm. and so a lot of people will click on it but if you write something and say oh beautiful day today in somewhere in africa right. people, they'll just pass by but if yeah. you say the most dangerous country <laughs> In Africa, yeah. people will click on it. So I work in the media out here, and too, besides Librarian TV Network, and I know how the news is put together. Mm -hmm. It's more about the click, about the time. Like, you know, you got to, yeah. But anyway, um, we we young Liberian, we grew up hearing sweet Liberia. From your point of view, were there any sweet Liberia? All these old people, the, the, uh, these people who were in that time, are they just trying to tell us something? Were there any sweet Liberia for real? Yes, it was sweet Liberia for some people. Mm. Even here, the great United States, this is great sweet United States, right? Yeah. But not for everybody, right? So Liberia was sweet. Mm -hmm. 
Third month time, people travel there, white people were there, and they used to come there and enjoy themselves. He built, they built some nice hotels and things. And Labra is a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. You see all the oceans and things over there. So Labra was sweet, but it wasn't sweet for everybody. Mm. It was sweet for the rich, okay. rich people, yeah. Yeah, because I, I believe you, because up to now, I, I've always referred to the rural connectivity. Mm -hmm. Major county, there's no road. So if it was really sweet for everybody, I'm sure from Monrovia going through Nima, Grand Gita to Maryland, all the way there, we won't be struggling to get in the area or going from Monrovia to 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 Sino, going through Grand Baxter, River says we won't have problem with those things. So yes, you're right. The Liberia was not sweet for everybody. But it just uh the I think we have a new generation. Hmm, I think it's it, I don't, it's kind of hard um, for some of us to tell, but between the new generation and, the, and that generation, which Liberia was was really good. Like if you were having conversation with somebody, like uh, do you think that it's more political now than it used to be, or which one was more political? Right now it's political. Okay. Imagine they have a president who rule for 28 years. Yeah. One party system. Yeah. But then we had the German people that they had their company in Burma, and they have they had some I mean development there, but for the rich people. Hmm. They had Lamco Yekepa. They used to call it small New York. They built it, electricity, telephone on the street. You could go and call. All those things were there, but everybody did not, you know, in the whole world, everything not equal. But yeah. There was peace there, and it was okay. Prostitution was high. Everything that was happening today, but it was not political. But people, it was okay a little bit. I heard that time things were very cheap. You can buy a little thing for, for with, with a little queen. And, and we were using U.S. dollars. Those days, mm. US, yeah, the same money here that we we're using. But, but who changed? Who changed the US to our own money? Do oh, okay. It changes to some kind of coin. Mm. So they call it do coin. Oh, okay. I think I heard. It yeah. was like five dollars. You know, one dollar nothing. It was just like five dollars. Mm. And then when you you count it a lot, or your whole hand turned black. I don't know where they made that money. <laughs> what what made your hand black? The pink, the drip of the pink on it. The money where you, where if you count, I remember mm -hmm. my boss man used to bring his allowance mm -hmm. and gave it to me. I was the secretary. He said, "Count the money from." He know how much money was in that, but he wanted to test me to see what I was, I can see. You know, yeah. Take the money and your whole hand turned black by yeah. counting that money. You know, yeah. so. I, where they made the money from, but he changed the money. Yeah. Let me explain this to everybody watching. Mm -hmm. Every time my Jew here say that you that you may want to agree with, because everybody has different mindset, you know. She's saying things based on her experience, not everything she was able to cover for you to see. So I want you guys that are watching to understand yeah. this is based on her experience, what she saw, what she think at the time, and what went on because the same way when I'm talking to my father, he always tell me, this is what I saw, but I couldn't see everything. You know, this is how I think when things were going on. And so I learned a lot from by just listening, you know, it's not what somebody else has told me, it's what he saw. And everybody had different experiences. What are you, maybe you went in Monrovia, you were in maybe Bond County, you were in Sino, yeah, so I just want to make that clear. Um, we are asking her for her opinion. To to you know, it's not we are not going by. Oh, you said you came rather day. What was the? It's not the history of it. We are picking her brain. So now you understand the reason I'm asking these questions step by step. Now that I clarified that, I'm coming to the big question. The, one of the things that the the situation that changed our country forever. At least the biggest one. Um, first, I will start with the with the whole rice thing, the rice protests mm -hmm. that turned um, bloody. How, where were you, and what um, what was your experience in that time when that was happening? Well, rice 
The rice protests they went during turbo time before they turn. Um, the I think police went on the street and then they were beating. I think they were they, 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 they called that bloody and ain't you no know, protest. Uh, that the one that brought do them to power, you know, after that, like um, these people, Jay Back Matthew, all these people, you, you, you know, you know what I'm asking now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I what, understand what you're saying. Okay. Now, what was your what was your experience and what do you know about it? Okay, um, Tarwa was how do you call it? Um, oh man, the English coming to me, but yeah. I. He was kind of passing his brother, his brother, he, his brother, they, they were business people. Oh, nepot nepotism? Yes, nepotism, yeah. yeah. So, Don't I, worry, your man, your man get you. Here, I'll get you back. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just killing my sister, Angeline. There. <laughs> that, was, that was brother. They, I mean, I, they had a rice farm, right? Yeah. And they are, he the one to also was in, in charge of the fish, yeah, fishery and all the kind of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So they because they wanted people to buy their rice, they made the price of imported rice. They put the, the price high, and mm. the ordinary people that you know than myself couldn't afford to buy the mm. rice. So the people protested against the government. Mm -hmm. Then they went and started shooting them and stuff like that. That's all I know. I was in, I was not in Monrovia. I think I was in Kagatan, that's where I grew up. Mm. But yeah, it happened in Monrovia. But yeah. all the news, you know, like Brazil, a small place. Yeah. I didn't watch it. I didn't see the poor protest that took place mm. in, in Monrovia. Okay? Yeah. So I don't, I can't go in deep to it, but we yeah. heard news. Can't hide, you know, like, bro, you don't, you, <laughs> yeah. spread all over. How was the media at that time, like, compared to media reporting these days? You didn't, you didn't news were credible at that time? Or, oh, yeah. it, it, okay. It has no qualified people. Okay. Yeah, the news yeah. are, you don't even know, you don't even know, listen to BBC. Mm. If I tell you a story, you're over here, but one man, they call Yakbaru. He oh yeah, I, I I I remember that name. I remember that name during the war. I remember the name during the war because they used to the people used to be singing a song. Jack who gave you a gun? They, they don't even know the story. I, I they don't even know the story. Yeah, what's it the was story? a man who killed his wife. Jealous mm. man. He was married to two women. I was we had just come from the village, mm. and we, we little girls we used to sit down. That time the radio that was it, radio they'll be they'll be talking for it on BBC. That so was, you're telling me you guys didn't have the HD TV that we that we no, have now. We had, not TV. We had TV, but it was, it's not like now. Yeah. We didn't even have TV, but the radio, everybody in the EV was saying now. Uh, and yeah. we the children there. Well, our ear will be open to <laughs> mm -hmm. us. Grandmother, they all talking about the Yakbaru. So mm -hmm. I guess some children say Yakbaru will get you going to Liberia. Liberia did not get. Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he had a shotgun that he killed the, the man for having inter in, uh, affair with his wife. Mm -hmm. Hair wife. Then he jumped. He went in the bush. Mm -hmm. He a rebel in the bush. He was killing people. He just went in the bush. Jack Pablo guy. Jack Pablo. He went in the really? bush. He was living in the forest. And mm -hmm. then he would come and scare the market woman when he hungry. He want food. He was scare the people. Wow. Then that way he would take a food and go. He was there for many, many, many months. <laughs> Where, where where this thing happen? Was where, it, where it happened? In Liberia. No, I mean which county? It was in Firestone. Okay. Oh, Firestone. Wow. All right. Good question, Angeline, because I was thinking about it too. Like yes. Hmm. All right. Wow. They, they call it now. They call it Mar 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 Gibi County, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Firestone area like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's Mar Gibi. Yeah. But if if I may ask you before we continue with it, with this. Mm -hmm. How long you been? How long since you left Liberia? Uh, how long you 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 been here for the U.S.? 1988. I told you. The oh, story. Okay. I told you the story how I left Liberia. Yeah. For the senator. Yeah. He wanted to have a affair with me. I said no. Give me a half. Then he just started to harass me, harass me, and then one day he fired me. Mm. Yeah, you know, at that time to get a job, and 1988 to get a job, it, it wasn't easy. For I went with one other senator. Who were taking my money and paying somebody on his farm? Wow. 
the man was not working. He was not in the government. He was not working, but he knew on the payroll. Mm -hmm. and that was a, yeah, that's that's the money he's supposed to pay me. And he, was, he put somebody in the front, a private farmer. Uh. So when I told him about it, he, he fired me. They are another man. The same day he fired me, another man fired his secretary. It was how they used to do it. Wow. That's for that job. And that man employed me. My point is that I was beautiful. He wanted to have a with me. I said, no. That man can't even try my woman, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. And then he started picking on me, you know. When you tell a man, no, picking on you. Yeah. You know, the boss, he fired me. Then somebody helped me to come here. I came like a visitor. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was too fast. I came as a you visitor. Came as a visitor here, then you decide to stay? I was, I was I coming to work. Actually, my mind was I was going to America. I knew America already. You come here, you gotta work. Yeah. I, I would just go work when I get money. I come back and open business. I don't want to work with nobody. Yeah. yeah. So I couldn't even go to school. I, I attempted to go to school and they said, but you don't have green card, you don't have this, all the kind of stuff came. So, my so you were you were okay, man. But but were you married then in Liberia when I senator wanted you? No, no, I was not married. Oh, but he was one of those people that have women, then they want other girls. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. He had a woman. In fact, he was married to a woman. They had children. He left that woman and married a younger woman who he raised. Oh, he had well raised the woman, and he took the the girl as his wife. He, he divorced his wife. So this nonsense that that people I do. So this thing been happening. Ever. Yeah. Oh, no, man. I, you know, when I see my, my hair, I can just feel vest in my heart. Vest angry. Hey, mm -hmm. that brother, that brother change. And this mm -hmm. man, this man, I talking about that man. He used to have forty year old, sixteen year old girls lined up. You had to go see him. Wow. When he come out, the one he want to pee, just take it, take her. Mm -hmm. Do what he had to do with her. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh man, he like almost seven days. Are you over seven days? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, people, children, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I know we are gonna. I'm gonna ask you more, you know, of this of your Liberian experience. But in part of the experience that I want to ask, because this is also major event. Mm -hmm. Um, the coup when the coup happened. When the coup happened, where were you when Dorian came in power? Where were you, and how was it for you? Okay, when the coup happened, I was on B Devi. I, I was in the uh, in my junior junior class. Mm. Junior year, okay. Mm. One more year for me to cry. That morning or on a Saturday, I lived in Kagata all my life. I grew up in Kagata. I born in the village. My mom came Kagata for me to go to school. So Kagata is my home. I call on in the morning on Saturday. I want to go to my mother on Saturday because I go eat some cassava leaf. You gotta eat they, 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 the food on the campus is not good, you know. But you gotta eat it, you know, to survive. So I was happy, I was dressing. Oh, oh everybody, all the girls, everybody was excited because Saturday you go shopping, you go do something, you can't come on over. But by five o'clock, you will be in the dormitory, right? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the woman, the, the, the woman that take care of the dumps, you call roll, you gotta be there. So in the morning, everybody bathing, you want to try to do something. I got her to go to my mom. We're not listening to the radio, but one girl there, she in New Jersey, she listened to the news every day. We don't care about that. The girl heard something. She said something happened. We don't, know, we don't even know what they call uh, coup. We never heard that before. You know, assassination, all the kind of things. We never like, heard that kind of language before. Yeah. The girl said, well, well, trying to leave. The girl said, I, I heard news on the, on the radio. Say, wow, what the girl talking? Hey, hey girl, stupid. Oh, some person, what is she talking about? <laughs> we went mm. out. One guy in Kagata, so I got to my mom, I saw market with me, Ronnie coming from the, they coming down to go home. Mm. The police, the soldier, all going there. I don't know what they were doing, actually. But everybody was trying to go home now. And then we started waiting for the news, tower class news. The whole place, you can't see no car. In Kagana, even traveling, the whole place was quiet and the, and the sky was dark. Wow. Then we, yeah, well, the girl told us a boy, but we didn't listen. Everybody trying to go and come back, you know? They didn't listen. But then when I went to my, my mother, now that's when I really knew something happened. Mm. Yeah, so we all sat down by the radio waiting for the 12 o'clock news because I think that the 8 o'clock news you heard. 
So, but then now they come announced again by eight, by 12. And then they said the president of Liberia and uh, William, William V, I mean, William has been assassinated. Then, then everybody like, damn, assassinated. We never, we don't know no kind of language. We never heard it. Yeah. <laughs> My boy, I never heard that kind of thing. Yeah. And some people too, a lot of people. Then, I mean, the whole sky was so dark, you could tell that something big happened in Liberia. Oh, crazy. The sky was dark. Hmm. They can't even see car passing. No, no driving, no. So that how that my that experience. That were I you had. scared? Were you you were terrified or you you guys didn't know what to do with the situation? Were you scared or you y'all were just confused? Didn't know what's going on? Yeah, we're confused. Okay. Yeah. People were confused. They don't know what what, what was very we knew something big happened, something bad happened. Yeah. Because they, they say they killed the president, then mm. you know that's not that's not, not good thing, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Were, uh, are, are, are many people in the street um looking for people or were they just walking in the streets? Do that they, that day they were people that they, they can market with me, they I think they told them to leave to, to go home. Okay. The people who are selling the car market or people selling there, you know. Mm -hmm. and, so it was that it was that the army patrolling and telling people you go home. There's something yeah, going yeah. on. Okay. Yeah. I see. But I see. So it was not like they are just finding people beating them and then doing mm -hmm. something. No, yeah. they didn't. I yeah. didn't go beating people that day, but just people to go home and just sit down and wait what will happen, and then let us then they watch her for what's coming next. Yeah. 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 There was a, there was a, oh yeah, Angeline. Yeah, yeah, sorry. How long it took when the the assassination took place? How, like few days or one week, one month? The, they, same day, the same day oh. happened in New Spray all over. The same day. I was in Kagana, the thing happened in Monrovia, okay? Right. But everybody felt the effect everywhere in the whole, around the whole country. Everybody yeah. felt the effect of that incident. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So after a few days now, everything came back to normal. No, not like that. Okay. Um. Uh, yes, some people were happy. They had leaves in their hand. Oh yeah. The regime, the regime is in is over at least. Native mm -hmm. man, born soldier. Native mm man, native man, native people were happy actually yeah. mm -hmm. because they have been suppressed for a long time under the the regime. That they kind of yeah. The, the, the one sided thing, yeah. yeah. So, do you think you think that was one of the biggest mistakes that the, the, the American Liberian made by, by you know founding a government and just putting it, um, you know, in their own interest because their children were going to fancy school, all that stuff? You think they made a mistake that time by because, like, it, 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 is that one of the biggest mistakes that caused our country to be where we are now? Yes, 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 yeah, that's what caused it. Yeah. Because they, they started treating the people according to the way they were treated as slaves in the United States. Mm -hmm. you know, and, wow. and niggas, they used to call the people Hedian. Mm. They, they had need for them, Hedian. Oh my God. Yeah, your name alone, your name. People started changing their names. Like my name. I wonder, I wonder why they would do something like that when they, when they, their, at least their grandparents, their people went through the same situation that was not good and somebody it's it's so sad for our country yeah, yeah. I myself to why they did it yeah yeah but i don't know i i, I think about it too all the time why yeah yeah, um, yeah so man yeah, oh then though came uh, i think when they finally um took power they started going um after corrupt people and they killed i think about 13 man on the on the light pole how was that day when when that happened did, did you experience it were you in monrovia now i was not in monrovia but we heard everything was on the radio what it did you know radio like we used to listen to radio too now okay we didn't see yeah. it like facebook yeah. stuff, you know physical uh but i said no would they i didn't see it but i heard about it mm -hmm. i was in kakata actually like i told you i was in school mm -hmm. and the other thing took place when Do took over all that in school, but we, we heard it on radio. I was not in Monrovia, but mm -hmm. they knew what was going on. They put the people on the light pole and they, they first they took them to court. Yeah. They went to court 
and then they say they found her guilty, and then they put her on the on the light pole, and then they killed them. Yeah, they killed them. But one of the guys, they, when they killed were all on, on camera, one of the guys, all the girls were crying. All of were crying in the dormitory. The mm. foreign minister, handsome man, pink lips. Mm. Then he was young. He was young. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> They were too young to say thing like. I was crying when they came like, oh my people. <laughs> the whole Domino was so tears. Mm. Yeah. Also, he was it was like handsome that many uh, women like. Yeah, handsome. Yeah. The foreign minister. The oh. boy, uh, uh, Dennis, I go, E. Reginald Dennis. Mm. Yeah, that was his me. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah. yeah. They when they when they see the kid in the phone, they call, call him the oh, we're all fell down on the ground crying. So they, so they put a, the killing to on radio. Yeah, oh, radio. Uh, uh, radio we used to use those days. They were not. No, no. What I mean for you to be killing somebody and put it on the radio like we are about to kill the person now, yeah. then they shoot it. Whoa. Yes, they put it on radio. Yes. They are not. Oh my god, that's bad. Yes. Yes. I see why, in my opinion, I see why many people wanted to redeem so bad. Like most of their, those people, their family mm. wanted to redeem. Um, yes. so revenge, revenge so bad that, yeah, that, that they, they didn't, like people, you know, to bring the war and stuff because it's yeah, like, they're horrible, oh, horrible man. Oh. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. I mean, I'm, I'm not a miracle librarian, but for even any human being to say, oh, you watch, you listening, or any family member listening, we are killing your people on the radio. It just, well, yeah, it's too much. It's yeah. a grudge for life. And yeah, yeah, it's a, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so then they can't wait. We want back on a thing too, where the, the same people that fought to gain power. What do you think for your own um, point of view that brought that whole Queen Wombat thing to go against for them to fight each other? You know, Queen Wombat and Do, they all came to, to take power. Yes. Yeah. But before Kuwampa, the PRC, the corner said People Redemption Council, right? PRC. Yeah. yeah. They, the 12 people that did that, those started killing members. First mm. person he killed was West Zen, mm. the vice president. Wow. Party. Yeah, West Zen, Thomas West Zen. Somebody told him, he said, West Zen wants to overthrow him. But don't you think? Don't you think this was divide the thing the spy people called this buy and conquer? Yeah, where, that, well, well, yeah. That because this is this is what happened. If I if I if my father was minister and you come to power, you will kill him. And I know I can't take on to fight you, but I can find a way to for you to fight each other. Yes, that will happen. Mm. But but not smart man enough to know all these things. I don't know who was advising him. <laughs> he he killed Kuwampa. I mean, uh, no, before Kuwampa, he killed Wesson, then you killed Nicholas, Polia. Mm. The same propaganda, the men want to overthrow you. Wow. So they say somebody want to overthrow you, they will kill the person. They were just killing, 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 killing business. Wow. I think Thomas was the, the last person that he killed, and the whole thing just, you know. Mm. That day when that happened, where were you? Like I told you, I was staying in school here yeah, when that thing happened. That was oh, the queen one by one too. I mean, queen one by. Yeah, I was I was staying in school studying. Okay. I see, but but when did you start working for the senator? I started working with him when um Do became president. I mean, the second when that's not the PRC time. Mm. He was supposed, he told the people you were supposed to rule for five years and turn the country over to surveillance, mm -hmm. bro. But then. After the fire, he didn't do what he told the promised people. He went on to run as president. Mm. But he has some greedy people telling him that because they want to be in government too, the Kakrakodo, yeah. the chairman, the, mm. the party chairman, running mm. for him. And then he went to, to run, and then he stole the election. Mm. Yeah, though. Yeah. He became president now, right? Civilian. First, it was military. Ruling. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's will tell the country, he said, well, we did it, we came, we took turns one from there. But yeah. then we'll be here for five years. Then when we finish our fire, years, then we'll let y'all come and vote who you mm -hmm. want. But yeah. then it's time finished now. He didn't want to leave. He wanted to stay there. Mm. So he went and ran.
and then stole the election. Wow. When he stole the election, then he started doing the same thing the Congo Po, he killed the Congo Po for corruption. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So Even then, though the crush was there, he killed people, but the things he was doing was not also good. Yeah. The people wow. that he killed that children then tried to revenge, but then he was not doing the right thing. Yeah. So he was giving the children the opportunity to even remove him to by by going because now people started now hating him like oh yeah. you yeah. you did this but you are not helping us too yeah even the, the old friends then like they they, they did a uh, killing they did a coup he killing them too yeah yeah on the family too against him mm -hmm. and then the Congo boy that he put on the on the on the on, on the pool and and and, and kill mm -hmm. they were against him too yeah. So the grudge was too much on him. Yeah. So the, the whole thing here started a long time ago. The whole mess started yes. a long time ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. too, yes, too many blood. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. So did you do you know uh, Angeline? Do you know some of these things that my that my Jew is talking about? Yeah, I heard I heard some. Because the president that I saw was chastised up. Then mm -hmm. both time I was a little, so I didn't really get the whole, you know, gov government thing. But mm -hmm. after everything, now we started hearing about, you know, things that happened. Mm -hmm. About, you know, all the names that um, Mama just mentioned. So the stories that she's saying, she she explaining. I've heard some some of them. Yeah. And it's very, very interesting because mm. with everything that happened, it was it's like it was too many, you know, things that were going on and too many things that happened in Liberia that brought us to this point today. Yeah. So yeah. People say when Doe became president, a time went by, there was there were a lot of hardship started coming to Liberia. It was things were getting really hard. Yes. This started getting me. I I work, but I used to take pay every other three months. Wow. Yeah. So the whole three months thing started a long time ago. Yeah, every other three months before I get paid. Yeah. But then you get your pay, you credit. People know you're working. Like me, I, people got shop and they're selling food and they know you're working. They will give it to you. So you get paid. What are you going to do? You got to pay them off and you broke. Mm -hmm. So they had that one not easy there. And then the prostitution oh. was high. Mm. Really? That's why right. yeah, me, me, I'm very proud of woman. That one, the guy knew that it was high. Mm -hmm. They the one was doing that. In yeah. there, so you can you can get your body. They are the people who got the money. I refused. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. at, at that time, you know, our former president, Ellen Joseph Salif, I think did you did you hear anything about her? Did, oh, when I I need to ring to my early Johnson. They didn't give her door of her opposition, but she refused. Mm. So they, 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 they thought that he was, she was against them. They put her on a horse arrest. Mm. She said, they rape her. I don't know about that one. Yeah. They did it. And they, mm. all that thing went well. They gave her a job. She refused the job. She didn't want the job. Mm. So if you don't get a job, you refuse the door and say you're against him. Yeah. So they put her on a horse arrest. Then somebody, somebody helped her to escape the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They said she dressed like a man too, so they didn't. Even... <laughs> mm -hmm. they, they just yeah. <laughs> that one, that one, you're yeah, yeah on radio or or you just they say. That they say what I see. <laughs> <laughs> so she dressed like a man to leave the country, so they won't recognize her. She gotta but, do what she gotta do. Yeah. They, Oh, yeah. Hey, boy, Jose, why? Jose, she'll escape the country. <laughs> we were <do> angry. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. I thought was, I thought Doe was saying, well, I'm happy that the troublemaker is not here anymore. No, you are angry because you know what the woman want to do. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know what the woman was planning to do. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah. From your point of view, I know during that time there were a lot of tribalism in mm -hmm. that um, uh, when Do, um, Do, uh, you know, Do Kran and then Kumon Bagio. When did that thing really start getting on fire? When did yeah, that? that was, yeah, yeah. It was Do when Do became president. Look, I was in the capital building. I could not hear people speaking English no more. Really? Kran, yeah. Hmm. 
So, so crap. <laughs> no more English because English is our language, right? Our yeah. Uh, because I hear people speaking English. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so, yeah. so, 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 so that's how they knew you were not crying when you couldn't say tao tao. Yeah, did you, the, 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 did you the, try to learn some crying? Cry, cry, cry. Oh, 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 oh the ministry is so no crying. Did I you try you, to learn some crying just so you can fit into the crowd? Yeah, I don't know why they were doing it, but they were. <laughs> she said, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they were, they were using crying. Uh, maybe they were supposed to. It, was, it would have been good if they, they, they teach. Yeah, it's good for her to get her own language. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the way the way you mean so something about it like you're being polite about it like yeah. it's so <laughs> that is funny I like how you were trying to say it out 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 <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> everybody was speaking grounded <laughs> yeah that's true I tell you and my my son yeah true. Yeah. For too much, man. They, they travel is he I don't know, he just deviated deviated from what the 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 whole thing the cool was so he started doing different things. Mm. You know, they were like racist and rather the prejudice. Yeah. The other and, then, prejudice. And, and then I heard that because saying you were talking about he and a lot of crown people start coming, so it looks like he was doing what you were just saying about mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you know, nepotism. Mm -hmm. By giving his own people job, you think that's what was happening? Yes. Hmm. And then they used to lie on people. Some crime people they want a job. <laughs> they want somebody to go lie to you. Say they they, they marry because Polia was not crime man. You I think Sapo man hmm. and the other guy too. So they want a job. They go lie to do. They say, oh, the man want to kill you, and you can't investigate. They just they just catch the person. They kill them. Hmm. And then because they want a job. The one that person you will lie. That's what they were doing, lying on one another. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Angeline, do you have something to say to me? Like come to me. I I got more questions though. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. Ah, I'm enjoying the story. And it's just like a movie to me. Yeah, you better play a movie. Please I will be I'll be one of the stars. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can give me a role to play in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. It's but but, but at, at that time you heard about President Taylor too. Uh President Taylor, I know something, but he he was working in the doors government. He was the GSA director. You know when they want to furnish a government office, mm -hmm. he was the he was the director for that. Uh, mm -hmm. But then he left the country. I don't know why he left the job and then he came to America to go back and take the door off mm. of the uh yeah of the position. Mm. He's a working in those government. Yeah, but that's what I heard. Program, a lot of Congo people job like any just said all of them offer job, but it's mm. they get some money, they took it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think he was trying to redeem himself from from the killing that happened on the light pole, or he, he was just trying to, I don't know, the reason you are giving the Congo people a job, you think you are trying to settle things with them to say, okay, we all can be in this in the government together? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I would think so. Yeah. 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 When, when things start getting bad, did you guys hear about Charles Tito coming or anything like that before you left the country? We knew we heard the news that Charles Taylor left the country. The man that was in GSA, he left he left the country. But we didn't know what he was planning to do. But we knew that he left the country and because you see, I think Joe wanted the American government to send him back or something like that. Yeah. So we heard all that all that stuff, but we didn't know Charles Taylor's plan. Yeah. What he planned to do. Hmm. Man, for me, I like the kind of stories because you see, um, I like to be open minded to these things because the problem about Liberia, even during the war, people blame each other, blame certain tribe, blame certain people because they didn't know 
the truth behind certain things. They didn't understand. They didn't say that. Even up to now, people don't do that. When they hear mm -hmm. one thing, their ear just boom. They don't try to really learn about it. And I think we Liberian, the only way our country will be better if we learn how to, you know, calm down and want to understand. We are all from different tribes. I'm from different tribe, you are from different tribe. And the idea at the end of the day, um, it doesn't matter. If we get to know each other better, it won't mm -hmm. be our tribe. Angeline did something to me, I'm not saying because she found a tribe. That's mm -hmm. why she's acting like that. I would say, Angeline, you were doing it to me, that's your attitude. And you know, so yeah, so that's the reason I'm asking you these things. And those that want to learn these things, you can pay attention and have a little understanding because like I said, my father, and you know, just by listening to him, because he was in, he worked in the public government, he worked in the door government, mm -hmm. and he actually, one time we sat down where we got to talk about this. I started asking because the war that we all went through over there, we struggled for nothing. Mm -hmm. And I want to have an understanding why certain things happen, why this happened. And mm -hmm. he told me the same thing. So that's why when we were talking, I was like, you know why? I got to talk to you on the platform. Mm -hmm. And I hope a couple of people get to. And, you know, listen and just learn something, one or two things from these things. But yeah, when you, when you, I know you talk, you said earlier about your, you know, how you came to the U.S. Mm -hmm. Was that somebody that gave you a scholarship, or you just decided that you know when some, or you know somebody who just said, "Hey, come here." Okay, uh, when I was in that office, there was a man that came. He he was related to my boss, my boss's husband, uh, wife. Hmm. He, he being his wife came here in USA. I, I, I don't think she had a document to send for him. So he went there to ask my boss to write because he been going to the embassy to get visa. Every time he goes, American people will ask you, where you going to America for? He either come to school or he got a full reason for coming here. But he said he want to visit. Because a lot of people visited there, they didn't go back, right? Yeah. So they were they were they were they won't deny it. They, they just tell me passport. He said he wanted six times. Every time he went, they, they, they denied him visa. So he finally went to the, to, to the senator because he's a senator. Maybe when he had, he write the embassy on his behalf, they were getting the visa. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss, man, he came up. When people come, I would let them go in. They said, I want to see Mr. William. I let them go in. They went in. I don't know what they talked there. The next thing I know, the door fly, flew, open. He chugging the man outside. Oh. Who? Who you think I am? Where, where, is that that boss that wanted us, that wanted you and you said yeah, no? Boss, I'm talking about yes. This man here yeah, is related to his wife. The young woman I told you he, he raised. Yeah. yeah. He, he said he related to the woman. So he came to ask. He been going to the embassy to come to the United States. Mm -hmm. he his wife to come to his wife. His wife took him on visiting visa. She ain't got no document. So he going there to get visa to come, US. It. And then they know that a lot of people have ha, ha, have had a visa and came on visiting visa. Some of them came to church conference, they didn't go back. Mm -hmm. So now they, it was difficult for them to give visa to people. They got to have a good reason for you to, to say you're coming to America. Mm -hmm. Right? So now he are tired of going back and forward, changing his passport. That's why he told me later on. He came mm. to my boss to ask him to, to help him get visa. And my mm. boss was rude to him. He mm. chunked out of his office. I didn't know what they were what talking about in the office, but he came outside. They slammed it to get out of my office. That's why he told her. Wow. The man went up. He was standing in the, in the, in the, in, inside the hallway with hair bare like this. Like, you know, when you want something, you can't get it. You yeah. frustrated. Yeah, he was disappointed. Disappointed, yeah. So, that the last chance, maybe he had said, maybe the senator will help me, but the man told him no. <laughs> wow. So he when, after he did that, the boss did that, he left to go for lunch. When he go for lunch, everybody had to go for lunch. Man said left to go for lunch too. Then I saw the man standing in the hallway. I said, oh, that's how I asked him. I said, what, what did you do to my boss? He was throwing you all of his office. Then he explained to me. He said, I just said, all right? He been trying to come to his wife on visiting visa. The embassy is refusing, so he came to ask him. Mm. So I then I, I took I told the mayor he, the mayor said, I don't have no job. I know what the, I will work. I was work. I could not even get paid every, every three months. What's about man like that? I started feeling sorry for him. 
He mm. said, my wife left the children with me. I got a job. And then I want to go join her so can work in America. You know, that's why I came to. So I took him to somebody in it, a lady. And the lady wrote letter for him. We, we got to live. We got to live. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Yeah. The woman wrote letter, like you are coming to buy chicken. She's a big woman in the government, too. And mm. they get a visa. So now I work here when the man fired me. Then when he came, he told his wife, said, one woman, I ain't know her from nowhere. She mm -hmm. like, I help me. Mm -hmm. So they do the same thing for me. The mm. towers, you know. So he used to call me, too. He used to call me. So when he called me, the, 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 the office man told he said, the, the, the woman was being fired. The, mm. the boss man fired the woman. So he said, mm. but make, please tell, give my number. I mean, they her call me. And I call. He said, yeah, I heard your story. They say the man fired. He said, the man not good. Then we talk. He said, but you want to come to America? I said, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But then when he fired me, the secretary of the Senate told me to take him to the Labor Department because mm -hmm. he didn't fire me right there. Yeah. So I take it, yeah, he told, she told me to take him to the Labor Department. So I, uh, when the guy asked me if I want to come to America, I said, yes. But then I just decided not to take him to because it would be a law. He's a big man. Like, bro, the justice system is not. Yeah. It's always in the field of the rich people, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll be with you. <clears throat> so I said, okay. They sent me my visa. I didn't even have no. <laughs> they sent me a ticket. I didn't even have a, a visa. Oh. Now he passed, but everything went. He said, they sent it to me. He said, wow. Can... Yeah, they sent me the ticket. I didn't even have a visa. So I will get a visa. I'm not working. You don't have to, you are working people will not get you visa in a in a I went to him and said, look, I know you fired me illegally. I, I should have taken you to the work department, but I don't want to go to but somebody gave me ticket. You have to write a letter for me that I work for you so I can get my visa. Yeah. He said that he bent here. You know you are wrong. Mm -hmm. He said, go to the secretary and send it. They were ready for you. He don't want to do it. You have to go to the woman. Wow. So I went to the woman. Yeah, I went to the woman. The woman said, come for you, secretary. Go write your own letter. I got a letter here one day. I, was wow. saying, I wrote my own letter, how I wanted it to be. And it was, just, it was not even a month when he fired me. I said, how my pay stuff, everything I had. I took it to the embassy. And then that I was still working. Like, I was still working. Yeah. I a visa and I came as a visitor, OK? Mm. So when I came as a visitor, three months with, uh, came me to stay here. Some of my Labron people I, came, I know. They didn't want to help me. They said, don't go to the immigration and tell them to extend your time. Just leave it like that. Don't go there. Just stay. As long as you commit crime, they're not going to look for you. And wow. now they're putting me in trouble. Yeah, I was supposed to go <laughs> and my time. Oh. Hey, give me I couldn't go to school here. Mm -hmm. I had to go to GED. I already finished high school. Everything that I brought, the GED here. I was on top of the game. They, they were giving me all kind of uh, award, the best. Uh, 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 Maju, Maju, all the, the one you saying that you came here, you were illegal, and I hope you got your citizenship now. <laughs> because if the people come for you, me, your husband won't be there. <laughs> I, was, I was not illegal. I came with passport. I said I got a passport. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you came visiting. Yeah. <laughs> go back. If you're coming for a visit, you can go back and ask them to yeah. come. Yeah. yeah. No, no, what I'm trying to say, I say, saying you've been here, saying that time, I hope you're a citizen now. Now you're telling me somebody might be listening. I am a citizen, American citizen now. Okay, that's good. Then 15, we are all safe. 15, yeah. Yeah. 2005. Oh, okay. I got my I American passport, everything. Oh, nice. Well, I'm going that's now. They want to travel because I sent my passport. You see the corruption? Mm -hmm. I, a Labrador passport, I sent it to New York. I went there. That's how you, now you can get posted and then they send it back to you. But you had yeah. to go. I went there and I want to go renew it. I paid the money, everything. They wrote me a letter here to went to go pick it. Every time I went, the office closed. Every time I want to get my passport, the office closed. That I got my citizenship. But I wanted but, to what was the process for you because from being somebody who came to visit and how did you do it to, it's up during the war, did you fight for political political asylum or, I know my father did that too. He came here on a government scholarship and the government decided that they will not, the government doesn't have money to pay his school fees. So he became, he should have went back, like returned back to Liberia, but he decided to stay here too. Mm -hmm. And you know, like, so he was here at some point he was illegal, 
because he was not, you were not getting, there's no money to pay his school fee or to stay anywhere. So he had to do whatever he had to do, work for people, random people, and some people will make him work hard just for him to get food. And so, yeah, but when the war started fighting, he, he had to apply for that. Or when things start getting tough in Liberia, he applied that, oh, I can't go back home because I, I work there, you know, and if I go back, it's possible that I'll get killed. So because the U.S. government knew what was going on, so they, they didn't have problem giving him the political asylum, which is not a green card, but it was something that allowed you to stay here mm -hmm. until things get okay in your country. But how did you get from that that level of visit to a uh, green card to a citizenship? Okay, what well, actually happened is that um, I came here in the eight, mm -hmm. so it was like almost two years before the war happened. And then when I came on the three month visa, I was supposed to go and ask them to extend it. I uh, you're extending for me, but my friends they were jealous. Some of people that I know they were jealous, they didn't tell me to do the right thing, they said, Don't go. They just leave it. Mm. I don't know the country. They know the country. They tell me, give me advice. Just don't go there. Uh, as long as you're not committing crime, they won't look for you. That's what happened. That one messed me up, okay? Mm. So I stay now when the war happened in 1990, 88, 89, 90. You see? I can't 88. Mm -hmm. 89, the whole, the, there were no war. So it was almost two years before the war took mm. occur, okay? Yeah. So, they, I didn't ask them for a salary because my friend said, don't go. So I left it like that. I was just here. I got a job. I was working, cleaning hotel room to make them live. So then when the war took place, they gave us something they call TPS. Mm. Who saw some people here in 1975? They didn't have green card. <laughs> they were mm. hiring. I saw some of them. I just came here, so my so my person they fired the key here, they didn't have paper. They all went to get a TPS because of the war that took place like bro. Mm. TPS was uh, to stay longer. TPS is you can get a job, but you can't go to school. Oh, okay. Just the number they gave me, they said not for school, just to work. Yeah, I think it's temporary in, in employment. Something. Yeah. Temporary or temporary. So I was able to now work, not under the table. And you know, I can work. But to, for me to go to school, no. Yeah, before you went to school, I thought you got to get a green card. Yeah. So oh, yeah. It's, it's temp by me thinking about it, I think it's temporary political silence, something protected. like that. And protect, huh? Protected. Okay. Oh, okay. Protected status. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You got it. Yeah. yeah. They gave it to whosoever can hear nothing, who, who, they all of them got it. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was hoping when, when I went to the office, some people around here that I thought they had green card. We always say nothing to get out. <laughs> some of them were lying that they were they, they were citizens. No, yeah. they really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you you know I don't want to keep you here too long. No, but... I don't, I don't care. okay, yeah. yeah, okay. Because I have some question. Um, when the war was fighting. How did you feel? Did you lose some people? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Look, look! I'm I'm so blessed. I can't go, man. I didn't see the war, but I'm having problems. I'm having war in my like, brother. Like the thing I told you now, my job, mm -hmm. all that thing was around me, right? Yeah. So I I think God was helping. I'm feeling bad, but then when I think about it, I say, damn, because a girl myself was living in the same apartment. That girl used to hate me. Mm. So, no job. I just used to dress. Dress and go to work, and she actually I didn't know her from nowhere, but she hated me. I said mm -hmm. maybe all these things, right, my neighbor? If I was going to stay in that country, she was going to be pointing finger at me. They were going to kill me, probably. Mm -hmm. So you know, some of things happen in your life. It's bad. You feel bad, but you don't know what the reason. Yeah. yeah. So now, King, that kind of way, then I think back. I said, wow, I think God gave me long life. He want me to die. Yeah. But I could have died. I, I can, I can, I can, I can picture it. Mm. I can picture it. So I just say thank God. I can say thank God. Only a question he asked me, okay. I felt bad, man. The thing used to be on the radio every time. Liberia, 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 and Chad Taylor, and, and, and what we need, and the rebel, and oh my, the news are bad, man. We hear it. Especially Takata. My when we went to the uh, immigration office, 
We used to go there to, to fix our paper. I met yeah. some librarian people, they said, oh, they kept going Canada. My mother, everybody, my family, they are in our place. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I couldn't hear from them. Mm -hmm. So it's something that worry you. Yeah. We used, worry, we used to worry about it and everything like that. And yeah. yeah, but for me, my grandmother, my grandfather died. Cause my mother said there was no food because he was old. Mm -hmm. my, my, my grandmother, last child. She and she and my she and her daughter had the same baby, the same year, my grandmother. So my mom used to dress both of all their twins, you know. She died for me, Nyakole. Nyakole, my wife, she died. She was young. So two people died, but all the other people survived. Mm. Right now, yesterday, my other cousin, yeah, called me, were talking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's... Everybody survived, but my grandfather and his, his daughter, they died. You my father, you my father had some in that story. My mother, my mother lived until okay, she came here. I brought her here in USA. My mother came here, nineteen ninety eight. Mm. But she, she, didn't, she didn't like it. Yet. She went back. She don't. They let the America, you know, the coal and all that. She went back. Mm -hmm. She died. She died last year, March. I think so. Yeah. She, she was. She was now. She was old. Yeah. So in her eighties. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. We, I, I know one time, um, the last time we were talking, I mentioned something like this. I, you speak standard English. You know, a lot of us, either you speak complete colloquial or you speak standard English. And um, how did you um, learn to do that? Like when you were talking the first time, I thought you were, you were American Liberian. You, you, are, you, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, maybe it's, maybe it's my question. ear. But you do you know you know they say when they love when you, the person is in love everything can just be good. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> my sister Angeline right there smiling. <laughs> Angeline, you know, I thought of nonsense. <laughs> yeah. But um it's that it's that like because you also sound very edu um like you are you sound very educated. Is that like because some people will say they read too much and it helps to. I just, I just asking this question for the young generation to learn one or th two things from you. Okay, uh, I went, I went to, I finished high school. Hmm. I went to trade school. I went to, uh, I went to college school in Liberia. I was not rich, but I, I was, it was not expensive. Trust me, my mother, my daughter went to a college school. Yeah, it's very expensive. Yeah. And my mother used to pay like seven dollar a whole semester in Liberia. Wow. Yeah, I was talking about in the 70s now, okay? The 70s. So I went to these schools, I learned English, and I went to I did secretarial science, it's English, it's all about English. How to compose, how to write letters, all the kind of stuff. I learned it before I came here. Then I went to some schools here. I went, came back, I came here, I went to do GED, get to get in the system. Mm hmm Yeah. So I, I, I started writing, I went to some college here, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make it. I didn't mm. finish. Yeah. Yeah. But that's 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 how it is. But mm. I say my language, Pele. When mm. I speak Pele, oh, you speak, you speak Pele? Oh yes. Oh wow. Yeah. And when I'm speaking to my people, they say, "You eat America? Who is speaking Pele?" He says, "I said, but I was born with it." Yeah. yeah. I was born in the village. I left the village around about five years old. So real village, no electricity. He, my, my father was a clan chief. He got a whole beef village clean, full of rules and regulations. Mm. Clean that than even Monrovia, a village. Of. Yeah. Oh, God. Hmm. But, but hold on. Um, have you been to Liberia since you came, or you just haven't made a move yet to, to visit? I came in the eight and I went back 2010. Mm. I, I also go there. This year, because my mother died, we should go for the um, how do you call it? Funeral. Memorial service. No, I didn't go to the funeral. I was sick. Yeah. I just did a replacement on my knee. I couldn't go. Yeah, I was, man. Yeah, I was doing therapies. So I didn't go, but then was, the family is supposed to go do memorial service. Mm -hmm. That's why my when my daughter gave me something a shot. She said I was, it was something, how you call it, for the flu. Okay, my four days later, my hair started hurting. I went. Mm. Say you got corona. Oh man, that's bad. 
after I was sick, I don't want to go in that room and I say they don't even have a hospital there. Yeah. I don't know they're testing their new thing on people now. I don't know. <laughs> You're testing it. First thing, I, I refuse to take an injection. I, I refuse. Yeah. I didn't take it for a long what, time. What's that a coronavirus uh, like um injection? Is that what you're talking about? The one that they do to to that um I forgot the, the injection they give you to protect you from coronavirus. Is that what you're talking about? The vaccine. The vaccine, yeah, the vaccine. It's the flu system. I mean flu season right now. Yeah. They gave oh, okay. okay. The flu job. Yeah. yeah. That's what she gave me, and oh. then I take from it. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, Angeline, she's into health. Yeah, and, you know, when they gave you that flu job, mm. they that's the same flu they put it in you. So few days, in few days time, you're gonna, you know, experience that. You're gonna okay. get the flu, and then after few, some days, you you'll be okay. But well, why I'm, why would you get flu? Why if they are, it's supposed to protect uh, you? That, that's a anti uh, whatever there. That's what they. That's the medicine. They inject yeah. it in, the corona, the coronavirus, they will take it and put it in you. No. <laughs> yeah, they say they take it in you. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coronavirus in you. Some, some people, when they give them the flu job, mm. they get sick from the flu. Some people, it doesn't disturb them at all. They do their normal thing and, you know, they're okay. They just the pain from the shoulder. Mm -hmm. After a few days, maybe take paracetamol, you'll be all right. But yeah. some people, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she said, oh, she tested me in the office, she said, I had a virus. Okay. Oh, maybe right. maybe you already had a virus before they do the food. But maybe, no, yeah. I was not sick at all. I wasn't yeah. sick. Yeah, you didn't take the, 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 uh, how you call it, the vaccine, right? Mm -hmm. I, took, I took three. I got oh. a paper here. Okay, some people were still getting the, the virus. What are you take the this is what uh, people say they lie to us because they were saying that when you take the vaccine, you're not gonna get you know the virus. Yeah, but those people that took the, the vaccine, they still got the virus. Right. I hope, I hope when you got the coronavirus, you didn't go to the people office and say you can't you can't take your coronavirus <laughs> out of me, you're putting in me. You, they, they got medicine for the testing. A lot of people yeah. now they got medicine for it. Yeah. I took the bus. They gave me the medicine. I, I think five tablets. I took it. But oh. you're funny. You say the people put coronavirus. I so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that part of it made me laugh. Um, but um, Angeline, do you have question? I, I know I asked. I would like to to ask. Um, so with everything that's happening now in Liberia, how do you look at the place? What is your take on Liberia? Do you think? Liberia is that sweet Liberia that you know we know or our parents back in the days know or is it a different Liberia now with a hard shape and you know you just can't find yourself going back there and be happy again. How do you think Liberia is right now? Is it sweet or bitter? It's very, very bitter right now. I think so. Mm -hmm. Because when people say they got a flag, they had JFK. People used to live from Guinea, Ghana. I want to come to that big hospital. John mm -hmm. FK built in that bro. King mm -hmm. Tottenham. Tot I mean, uh, Tottenham, yeah. Mm -hmm. They have medication there, everything. Now, even they try to put medication, they put a CD and go open their own. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, their yeah. own clinic on the side. Mm -hmm. See, you, a poor people die. My, my sister, my young sister, all right now, she just died from just mm -hmm. kind of work. In fact, when she was sick, she went. The, the people in the hospital was in that uh, voodoo. Can you imagine? Mm. Doctor telling you. Wow, doctor telling that. Yeah. Wow. Doctor telling you say a voodoo again. Yeah? Go to the church. I never heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> say it's a voodoo. It's worse, man. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if they can't find it, they can't find it, but they can say it's voodoo. But um, what thing you work in the in, in government? You got government experience. Um, during Ellen, when Ellen took power, she was taking people like you. You were inviting people like you back. Do you think if you wanted, you would have, you would have went back to Liberia to work in the government, or do you have any interest? Did you do you have any interest of going back? I know it been a while now, but I I just wanted. I was just curious. If if I if I had the education, mm -hmm. I don't go take a job that I'm not qualified for. That what happening to some people now. Yeah. 
And like I told you, when I came here, it was tough. I couldn't go to school the way I came. Yeah. yeah. I wanted, by now, be having a PhD. Yeah. Tell me, Brazil. My daughter is 31 years old. She got a master's degree already. Mm. Yes. I sent her to the best school. Did you bring your daughter here? Yes. She was born in 1991 here. Oh, okay. So she went to Fairfield University here in Connecticut. She mm. got one of Massachusetts. She did her master's degree there. So I'm, I, 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 I love education. I love, so I would encourage anybody, young people around me to, to be educated, to, you know, to go for it. Yeah. So when I came here, I don't have a degree, but yeah. I went to some school, you know, doing small, small things. So if I go Nigeria, what am I going to do? To, yeah. become, to be a secretary? Mm -hmm. I want to do something bigger than that and don't change the place. And the person you will be secretary for, you you realize that the person you you know even more than that person because they probably they get a job because they know somebody. So yeah. I like your, I like your mindset that says that I may not qualify for certain positions. Mm -hmm. It's a great mindset, you know, because I think people even if you let's just say you went to school, you get a degree. It's always when you, in college you have to major in something, right? You know, you can just get a degree and be thrown anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you put him in charge of uh, Ministry of Justice, what do I know about uh, law and all this stuff, the mm -hmm. Justice Ministry? If you make me uh, Minister of Apple at the current day, I don't have any degree in aviation to know anything about that. Mm -hmm. But I, one thing I've noticed in Liberia, people get people position based on the fact that they are educated or yeah. they know somebody. But sometimes it's not all about the education. It's about you can have the education, the degree first. Then the second thing is what did you major in? And if somebody make you ministry of health, you should know about medicine, know some type of uh, medical administration, be maybe have experience in um, medical administration. You know, there's a position, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that there are medical administrators, mm -hmm. you know, so you know everything about running hospital and all of the above. Um, Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna yeah. such a care to be the minister of you know yeah mm. yeah and I think that's where we Liberian been getting it wrong they they are wired now they are heavy sometimes mm -hmm. they put somebody in a position and um because the person is educated I heard recently somebody said that oh if you are educated man you can you can be thrown you can work anywhere. So mm -hmm. in my mind, I was thinking, I'd say it doesn't work like that. You you get in position based on your major. Right. Yeah. That's why I major when I want to be there. Yeah, they got agriculture, they got uh, auto, yeah. they, got they got all the different different. I, I specialize accounting, I specialize in secretary science. Yeah. Somebody somebody said that you oh yes. Yeah. Let me read just a little question that I think the last few ones. Um Somebody, the person said, oh, when you were talking about the vaccine, the person said, maybe they gave you the booster. You know, when you took I for the booster, everything. I got it. The, the yeah. People. yeah. I see. This is the second time she said I got corona, coronavirus. Mm. I was so scared when I used to go outside. When I mm. come open my door, I got to wear a glove. Mm. That you... has I was. Yeah. Up to now, I say wear a mask when I go up. Wow. So that's how I was scared about one of my... My son came here, he let it go out. He had a coronavirus. When he said you can't know, when he yeah. came to us, I caught the coronavirus. I didn't take the vaccine. Everybody was taking it, I did not take it. Yeah. So when let I got it, after that, then I went and did a, the uh, vaccine, then I did a booster and everything. Yeah. But then when I tell you, the woman said she was giving me the, she was giving me a shot for fluid. Yeah. So let me, let me, yeah, this one, when you were talking about, we were talking about going back to work when you say you were, you were very honest about it. That one, the person said you've been fair, you know, you are a very fair person. So yeah, but anyway, um, I, I think for me, those are my chats, you know, you can always come on my show too and, and chat with me, you know, that's the benefit of being, you know, Jefferson Jew, you, you got the network, nobody was stopping. <laughs> He's the boss man. Anytime the woman wants to come, she can come. <laughs> Even I can cancel Angeline. I say, Angeline, don't come. My Jew is coming. Yeah. But, but on a serious note, I think for me, it's been good chatting with you. 
Mm -hmm. I know Angeline, where she lives, is it's very late. So, <laughs> so I, I always ask her to be my co-host. I don't want to keep her too long. Then next time when I want to bring her, she said, ah, oh, no, <laughs> that guy will keep me too long. He'll be talking the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I want to also, you know, do maybe promote my sister Angeline a little bit. So um, unless you want to stay on, it's up to you. But I want to promote her YouTube channel a little bit and also... Um, and also talk about, I think you sent me a link, right? Angeline? Uh, no. Facebook. Oh, did I? Yeah, um, I, think, I think about the age of, age of um, the people you work with in Liberia. Oh, okay. That's the charity organization that I have in Liberia. Yeah. But I sent you the, the Facebook link yet. Yes. So uh, that's due uh, maybe tomorrow or so. Yeah. 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 Do you want us to like maybe talk about it, or do you want to you want to come on a show? Is that why you send me the link? Um, we can talk about it because okay. I want for people to you know know about it, and we're looking for donors out there to mm -hmm. help our charity. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's something that we can talk about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I can go to the Facebook page right now. Let me see if I can. Go there so people can see it while we why 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 you are talking about it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, my uh, you, you know what I mean, right? I just because I asked Angeline to come just so she can help, and now we can you know she can you know I can squeeze her in a little bit. That's what I was saying. But you can stay on, or you know I can bring you back next um, time. Too. Yeah. Any question for me, mom? You can ask me because now yeah. I with the uh, my the how you call it. The charity organization is about, you know, um, senior citizens. Mm. Yeah, so we look after them in Liberia now. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, we we cater to them. We 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 look for people to help with whatever they can financially, morally, you know, whatever the thing they can help with. So helping is not only about money, but mm -hmm. Give advice, mm -hmm. yeah, because that's how you know we grow and make progress. So, Age Care Foundation is all about um looking after the old people in Liberia. We provide clothing, medication. Um, I won't say lodging because we're still trying to look for money to, you know, buy our own place so we can build. Mm -hmm. So, um, in the future when people need that place to like a shelter they can be able to go there but for now we meet at um the first wednesday in every month where we just um sit at just like a coffee morning mm -hmm. so we meet them we we you know tell them how to look after themselves what to eat do some exercises mm -hmm. and we yeah then they will tell what you know the situation what kind of thing they're going through mm -hmm. um sometimes we get donations from other people they will give us rice they will give us medication depending on what they can afford mm -hmm. and if those things are many we put them together and then we share it, especially with the food because most of them when we go to talk to them they always tell us you know the food business we want food, you know. My daughter is is all about food, 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 and medication. That all they need food. What what else? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I know. They will take a medication. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So mm. the the what really brought a age care foundation is that when I used to go back home mm -hmm. and maybe I'm driving in the street of Morovia, sometimes I will see. The old people between cars, between the cars, some of this mm -hmm. handly gave me the begging. So it, it it makes me to to bring it bring tears to my eyes. Why? I believe that when you old now, you got so much to give to the young people. Mm -hmm. So you can be between cars and be begging and be you know work. It's not dignifying. It's degrading. So yeah. this. I, I, yeah, this is one. Oh, oh. Yeah, Angeline, somebody 
even though um, I thought I was, um, because I forgot to put a person question, we will, you will continue your talk. Okay. But somebody was asking you, which pellet town, Jacob was asking, which pellet town are you from? Who, me? Yeah. I have a village called White, White Town. I need to go purchase that village right now, a big village. Oh. It used to be the capital village, all the villages, my village. When I was little, I would remember the village would be full with people. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> it ran near the border, it near the big river called Boro. I need to go, I need to go there, where, I need to go purchase that, that land. Yeah. But my people been there, say I will, I will not, before even I was born, I see people buying the villages now. Hmm. Yeah. So, and then they got a river there. In the future, when some are all gone, way i mean that river that you see people building all around it mm. that's beautiful my town is white town wait and you have my father my father knew white clan chief oh really so you are you are you are you're a princess yes i am because let me tell you there's this girl who we went to out we were doing my job my job that i do in the u.s here yeah this this girl i think her father is town chief somewhere in sierra leone Mm -hmm. uh, she came to the U.S. here and made money out of that by telling people that she's princess. And so everywhere she went, people, because the people don't know much about Africa. Mm -hmm. So one time we were talking, she said she's from, so then she came as the keynote speaker, like she's the top person in the bra. You mm -hmm. know, this girl, she's the top the keynote speaker. And that girl pulled her princess thing and all my friends were telling me that one of the guys he knows about, he knows geographic. So he was like, one thing I learned in Liberia and Sierra Leone, I don't know about King and Queen for the girl to be princess. Oh. Jefferson, what do you think? So, <laughs> <laughs> so I said, dude, I don't want to spoil anybody eating mouse. So it's okay, she's princess. And yeah, so that's what I was telling you, you're a princess because the, the girl, oh, the girl made it big, like she's the queen of England. Or no, I king of England daughter. I huh? I like people to say she is. I don't like that kind of thing. Maybe it's good to do it. Yeah, but, but she was doing it like that. Like everybody would, the, the, the American people, right after the big show that we did, I think we had 2,000 person in the building. Wow. And then the people were standing in line just to go. Maybe to you should with the for me now, but maybe that's what God sent you, but I haven't been doing it. <laughs> hey, if anything to promote you <laughs> yeah. and make some money. Yeah. Anything to promote you to make money out of this, I'm down for it. So, okay, okay, then wait for you. Okay, but I've been doing work hard because my, my father was a hard worker. Yeah, hard working man. We used to get in the morning, everybody go on the farm. All right, we'll yeah. have people we'll go on the farm in the morning, then in the evening, we'll come. That's how it was. Yeah. No, that girl, that girl, she said you used to, she said, she said, no, how well, me, I just come to America and say I'm princess. Okay. And we, 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 we. Yes, yeah, that was blessing. But, yeah. and, but so, I might say nobody was looking at that, though. They say we live yeah. in the free and all that. What are you going to tell somebody princess? Yeah. yeah. And it turns <laughs> out that somebody, there's another guy who we want another show again, and the, uh, another guy. Um, he's from Sierra Leone, but yeah. because you were talking about a town, oh, that girl know how to tell story when she gave him speech. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. told us how she came here when she was little. Mm. She didn't know where her parents from because they, I think, adopted her. White people adopted her. No. She was explaining the whole story. And mm. then finally, she decided to go find her people village, mm -hmm. uh, people town. And then when she learned, she was a princess. Yeah. Then, <laughs> so what happened now when we find out her father was the town chief, but she <laughs> made it like she's a princess. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like she then she tell a story how when she went to the village, the people were celebrating. You know, she, the princess is coming, and she felt the right thing. I'm like, interesting. I didn't play to laugh. I said, if my I know a lot of people in Liberia. My uncle then that were that were town chief, come and punish my chief in. Yeah. Area. Why would I ever say I'm from Liberia? <laughs> yeah. You go, to, you go to Liberia, you tell people that it's about move ahead. <laughs> <laughs> talking about Totmo. Somebody think you're talking about Totmo. Eh? Yeah. And Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. You see the plans you got there? Yeah. All that diamond and gold. Some came from Liberia. You know that? 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, to a to a friend with him. <laughs> like, uh, make my friends, you I want you a friend that go and damo and everything in our country. That yeah. that is your someone yeah. from there. Talk mm -hmm. about all those stuff then, okay? Yeah. But then she have to build a mansion and the executive mansion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but, but at least at least there are some things too we can look back on and say. Yeah. I, I um I there's some things we can look back onto and say you know Tom Tom at time they are certain even though he was in office for long one the people love him that mm -hmm. this war that we got to face later when Tom got in power mm -hmm. like they didn't uh, they not experience those things when Tom Tom do then got in power mm -hmm. and you know even when Tom got in power that's when all these protests and all that stuff started happening right so right. yeah but he he Tom man no matter the situation. Mm -hmm. At least the people love him, and there was not a lot of the hectic that Liberian were going through later. No, you know, and he they, was never a change, okay, because mm -hmm. he was a puppet, they were controlling his controlling his mind mm -hmm. and giving the money, and eh? they gave him mm -hmm. all that money. Mm -hmm. And then he used a little bit of this here, there, and that. Mm -hmm. Nobody came to America to go to school, but thought not. Talk about their lot, you know, sending people to school and all kind of stuff. Mm. But then the same poking when they learned that they went, they, they started fighting him. You see, that's but the thing. Michael, uh, Michael, he said, No, no, I don't want to educate nobody to come by and fight. <laughs> <laughs> but Tobo was a visionary, he wanted to educate people. Yeah. And mm. he sent people from here to school and all those things. But the same people went back and started fighting him. But you see, the, the, but I don't say, I think it's a good thing to always want to educate people, no matter what they do later, that's their business. Right. But one thing I can tell you, yeah. education, it's a perfect example that education is a very powerful thing. Even during the slavery in America here or anywhere, the white people never wanted the black people to, to read. To read. To, yeah. to, to, to learn yeah. or even learn how to read. Because when they learn how to read, there will be something. Yeah. Like, yeah, so um, education is very powerful. Um, mm -hmm. The moment you start learning how to read, mm -hmm. um, let me see somebody say, where the host live? Maybe I will take, oh, okay, where do I live? Um, where the host live? Okay, let me put it up here. Um, I, live in, I live in, if you ask me, I live in California, but I host people from different places you know like my 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 the comfort that, that who is the star of the show she's in new jersey area my sister that is on the show she is um in uk and i'm currently in california if you want to come on the show you know email us liberian tv at gmail.com or go to our facebook page and leave a message yeah and then we can bring you on the show mm. But I'm talking to Jacob. If you are still watching, yeah, that's the way to come on my show. Uh, right now, we are we will soon be leaving. I just want to talk to my sister Angeline about her foundation. Then we can go. So, Angeline, it's your foundation on Facebook or on Instagram? Yes. I, um. I, right now, it's not on Facebook, but it's okay. on Instagram. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I was trying. I was trying to find it, but you know, I on Facebook. That's what I didn't find it. But I don't know what I, I can use my browser to go to Insta, um, Instagram. Let me see. Yeah, but Angeline, you can keep talking about your. You can talk a little bit about your foundation. Sorry that I caught you off because yeah. I was. I did, and then the next one we're going to have is the children because me, I was a child labor. Mm. Mm. I used to work. I used to watch the woman. Baby died for early in the morning. She's going to work. Rich woman. When mm. I want to and today you see children in the street, they're selling, they're not in school. Yeah. And they are official leaders. Yeah, it's good to take care of old people because myself old too. I want somebody to be able to take care of me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And right now, I need to go back to Liberia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to stay here. I, I didn't come to stay here. My my plan was to come and work and go back when then it's, the war came. Mm -hmm. So it delayed me. I love that bro more than any place in my whole life. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I have a place in that bro. I got a nice horse. I send money for my mother to build her. She didn't build the horse, the kind of horse I want. Now, I'll be my job, but a place that I'll, I'll feel comfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I go, right? I got yeah. a place in Kakata, I got land in Kakata, I got land in Monovia. Okay. Me and my son right now working. I'll soon be, I'll be going to Labrador. So that's a big, good business. 
that I, I, will, I, will, I mean, uh, a good idea. You taking care of old people. I will be. Mm -hmm. I want to be part of it. Okay. All but right. the reason why, when I think, I mean, no hospital. When you go there, you get sick. They gotta fly you. All that one. That's the only thing. But I love Liberia. Yeah. I always love Liberia. I don't have to go rent for anybody. All I need is to develop the place that I bought already. Well, 24 years ago, I bought that place. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Like the horse there now, it's not that. That's not how I'm going to live now, you know? Because we used to cook outside on the firewood. I don't want to go to that now. My age. Yeah. You know the firewood? Put the fire together and cook on the outside. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or go bathe outside in the bathroom. Then we, I live like that. Yeah, people. I think people are still doing that in Liberia. Uh -huh. Yeah. At my age, I don't want to do it. Yeah. So, but the thing is, that I don't have to go purchase land. Already being bought. I got all the people, people working. So you just need to do it up now. Do the bathroom, the the kitchen, everything. You know. So that anytime you go there. You know that it's already done. You can just go and relax and enjoy yourself. I had a bathroom, but when I went to 2010, I was so discouraged. I want to wash my... I don't know who did a job for her. I was sending the money for her to do it. She put she had a bathroom in the house. The bathroom, the top is bigger than the size of the room. And then the, the one the face basin is will brush your teeth. I want to brush my teeth. The water wasting on the floor. Mm. Amen. Mm. I spent it? over three. I mean, I've been. I haven't been like I was there, there for three months, almost three months, in our places, struggling. And uh, hello. I, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I just pulled that up. You know, that's the Angeline Foundation. That's why I just pulled up. That's why we can still see you. Yeah, we can. We can still see you. You. We can see you on the side. Okay, okay. So that our foundation is stuff there, okay? Yeah, it's called, it's called. I don't have any foundation, but I can join like a sister. We can work together. Yeah. Okay, I plan was... on going back to Liberia. I'll be spending most of my time in Liberia than here. Okay. All yeah. Right. But right now, I don't work, okay? Yeah. I don't work. I got nothing. So now I lay down all day unless mm -hmm. I go to the store and go walk the ball and come back. Yeah. Basically. We would love to have you. And there's yeah. a lady that's selling uh, land right now. If you can join me, we can, uh, her new best, I don't know where I know her best gallo. She just sent a link to me, and then I asked her how much she's selling the land. Because my own place for me to, it's a business area. My spot is yeah. all on the road there. Mm -hmm. I can open gas station. I can build little bit stores, you know, shops and things, rent it to people. Yeah, but a, a thing like that. If you are interested, I can I can send you her link. She's selling land. Okay. Yeah, get get you can say you want to build something for the people, the old people, right? Yeah. 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 But you know, you know, Angeline, Angeline does a lot of building, house building stuff. So oh. you know, she knows she knows a lot of things about you know having land and building house in Liberia. She she her YouTube channel, mm -hmm. you know, it's called Angeline. Like if you type in. Okay, let me write it down. Angel. Yeah. Angel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you should send the, the link to her. It'll be yeah, easy. I'll send the link to you so it'll be easy. I'll text yeah. it to you. Okay. okay. Hey, yeah. let me you later. I'm going live right now. My yeah. heart is in La I swear yeah. to God. Every day I'm thinking about La Bureau. Say, you here, yeah, you, you, you not, you're not there. When I'm on the ground, we can work better, sir. Yeah. yeah. It will also be, it will be really good because if you go to Liberia, because you're saying that you know you want to be busy, so yeah. if when yeah. you go to Liberia, you can be you know helping me to do or assisting me to do the charity thing because there are lots of things there to be done, so that would be great depending on your location now because the charity is in uh, Morovia. Yeah. I don't know if you're in Kakata when you go to Liberia, it's Kakata, you spend your, your yeah. time. Monovia. Okay, in Monrovia. Oh, Bonafa Road. It's, I mean, man, before I came, some people saw it was too large. You can do a lot of things there, but somebody saw a piece of it, my family member, I just let it go. But oh, really? It. Right on the road, right on the road. Anything you put there is good. When I mm. went, I carried a lot of stuff. I was selling that book coming from all work, coming back from me. Mm. Yeah. And right on the road, too, on the highway, the highway going all the way. Yeah. 
One thing somebody, one thing somebody was just saying, they said, "Be careful when you are buying land in Liberia," and that's true. Um, yeah. Liberia is not like before when you bought your land. Somebody yeah. stole my land. We were in court. Wow. Yeah, a woman went. My knee already on the dish. She went to my mom. My mother is old. How can you buy land for an old woman? And her knee not even on the D. Mm. She went straight. She started building something behind my house. There, we got to go to court. Mm. And so I said, no, you can't do the, the land for the woman. She, she, she coming back home. She want to hustle and come back. Yeah. To hustle and go back. How many um how many lakh do you have? Because I'm telling you, people are two lakh. Mm. Somebody sold at the bike one to somebody. I can't take that person to court because he's a like he was like a family member too. Huh? Mm. But I got one. Right to the front view on Punafa Road, mm. Monrovia, the same thing too. I mean, uh, Kakata. Mm. Yeah. I, I can go, if you get a chance, I can go print a D and show you all D. No, you, no, you good. Yeah. yeah. Those are those are private documents. Sometimes you, yeah. you got to be careful yeah. who you show them to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when a lot of people are watching on the show, you. Yeah. You never know. But if yeah. D and so my your D, my D low older than your D. You can see yeah. my home yeah. turned it on our island. They released this in during the war. Yeah. So you can wow. tell, oh, oh, this, so how are you going to steal my land? Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, people buying land. They put it yeah. up under the press. But this woman here, she came on Facebook. I was, I was sending it to Angelina. She's yeah. proof because I asked her question and everything. I don't know oh. where you go. She's famous. They, they call her Best Gallo. Yeah, I've seen her on Facebook before. I don't know if she can do that kind of stuff or what, but she, she came back. Maybe, maybe she was promoting somebody land. Maybe oh, because people yeah. can pay you, people could pay my platform and say, promote, yeah. can you yeah. promote this? Yeah. yeah. So maybe, or maybe it's her own land. Either way, I don't know for real. Mm. But yeah, but this is, Angeline, this is, that's your foundation, right? The one that I'm yeah, yeah. That's the foundation there. That's, okay. that's it there. Mm. Okay. So we look after old people, old eligible people. Mm -hmm. We help them with um, medication, clothing, food, and other things. So we mm. have, you know, we're looking for donation. Anybody that wants to donate, mm. get in touch with us. Anything. Mm -hmm. Even if that. One dollar said that something it will change yeah. somebody's life. But let me ask you, how do you how you people get the medication there? So um, the people, the the um people that work in the hospital oh, in, 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 in Liberia, yeah. Okay. Sometimes we get in contact with doctors, nurses, and mm. those ones are already that have their own you know practice. Yeah. Yeah, they come and check our old people. They will come and check them, and then prescribe medicine for them. Those it just those one is just the basics, the basics now. So, but if anything serious, then we take them to hospital and you know where they will have proper checkup before they can take any medication. But what what inspired you to start the foundation? I know you. Are, I will do a special show on this one. Yeah. yeah. If you when you are free, we can do a special show on this one. But why inspire you to start the foundation? Yes, I was as I was saying, um, I went to Liberia a few times, and every time I went there and I'm driving around, I'm seeing old people, you know. She just said it. Wait, well, she can't repeat herself. Start stretching their hands to people to give them money sometimes, and you know. Old people standing on the road and stretching their cars and stretching their hands to beg for money. Car could come and hit them or something. Yeah. And some of them will even be sitting on the side wall begging. So I, I, looking at it, I feel that it's, it's not dignifying at all. It's yeah. belittling and nobody in their old age should be, should yeah. be doing that. When you yeah. all have so much knowledge to, to give, and so much to give, you know, to the younger generation. So right. you cannot be on the sidewalk begging and don't even know where your next yeah. meal will come. Yeah. 
oh, it's, it's not good. So this is what brought about Age Care Foundation. So okay. The people. Uh, yeah, for old. sure. You said it. You said it first, but um, I was I was busy trying to type this. Uh, I was trying to find it. That's why maybe I, I missed that one. Yeah, yeah. So the medication she's talking about. That's what I'm putting up here. Yeah. So, so like yeah. This. So, yeah. You can doctor. see, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Message. Other people will come and help us to you know treat our people, our old man and old papi them. And yeah, some people will give no bless you, my 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 sister. Because yeah. my, well, my grandmother, I, I too that was so nice. She said, Bring your hand, let me pray for you. Mm. That's yeah, I've been going through a lot, but God always oh, when you have yeah. old people and children, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two people they don't you know they don't have the opportunity to do things for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So just to like you, I think I've said it earlier when we started. Angeline has a lot going in Liberia. She's one of those people when it comes to Liberia. She's doing a lot in Liberia when it comes to going back there, trying to employ people, trying to build house there. Wow. You know, yeah. If you talk, to, if you see her channel, her YouTube channel, I'll send it to you. Yeah. She has a lot of videos where she's uh, talking about building houses in Liberia. She talk about we she like the same thing I do on YouTube and Facebook, Insta, Facebook the platform. She mm -hmm. has her platform, the Angeline, where she she hire a few people to work with her. With her. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are even looking for somebody, a reporter who can go to different places and yeah, and 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 do and and do some video for her. So Angeline is very somebody who is very serious, not just talk, but she also do. You mm. know, she, she, some of us who've been talking about going to Liberia, but she has been to Liberia a couple of times. Mm. I would be saying that she's a celebrity, she just can't say it. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> now, now, yeah, but but on a serious note, Angeline is doing a lot in Liberia with the idea. You know, there are some Liberians that we just sit, sometimes we criticize things, mm. but we don't make the effort to, yeah. to help. You know, if you if you hire one or two person or three person, it make a difference in the country, especially when you have the opportunity, like someone like me, Angeline, and other people. You know, mm. it's a it's a big deal. So that's the one of the reasons I like, and you know, her as a sister. Another thing too, Angeline, nobody supports me more than this lady. Like <laughs> she is very supportive, but, but you know, like somebody I feel I can talk to when there's something going on. Yeah. And, stuff she's somebody i can call and talk to her. she's my sister for life that, that yeah. we really talk about it First one yeah. I like that, that you can't yeah talk. yeah she, she's uh, my she's my talk, sister talk. for life so so angeline how's the introduction and now i introduce you to my jew how how is it like very, very <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm interested in this your jew so we yeah. all do our family thing here. Yeah. You see Angeline been smiling and laughing, but I'm not gonna call nobody name, but she know my real Jew. So <laughs> my, my real life Jew. So she been laughing, she been, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they do they all do it. I, I told you, I said that they do it. Like, grandma, you see, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, the best Jew <laughs> said. <laughs> You see, that's that's the good thing. That's the good thing. I get I get it. I get well with, with old people because yeah. I know how to joke for yeah. us to laugh and stuff like that. I remember when I said my Jew that the, the, the next time you wrote me of the Jefferson Avio, your Jew, I said, Yeah, that's good. You know, my, my mother and I used to be walking on the street when I was in Monrovia. They'll be like, My Jew, can I let walk, you know, like you're going to dinner for real, that type of stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then I'll say, you know, you you will always be my my Jew. No matter what the woman that come in, you'll be my first Jew. Then she'll be laughing. Okay, but that the first one you fell in yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, that the mm -hmm. first woman you see her face right before you start seeing all the queens then. Yeah. Well, yeah. your face ugly, she dead, and that the first love there, right there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even when I go through your that, father is your first, your first, we're not talking about that one about yeah. love your father, girl. Your father, yeah. your, first, your first lover, yeah, yeah your first man, yeah. Come on, your first mother, your first, first woman you find like is your mother, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. So, yes. That, and that's why he's gonna be a good man, yes. Yeah.
And that's why too, you know, the people, the women that I did, or I try to treat them too with that respect because right. they were, if I can tell my, my mother or my sister do, then that means that res that mindset I have it with a with a re real Jew. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, Angeline, um, can you if, do you have something to say about your foundation? Because I want us to do a, a show where we focus on the foundation. But if you want to say something before, because I know it's late to you, very late. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me just yeah let me say something before I go so I can yeah tomorrow I got to travel so. <laughs> oh yes. No, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the foundation there. As you can see on the screen, it's there, it's showing. So you, you know, whoever is listening, uh, will be listening, please, you know, help us out. Because yeah. this is how we support our people. This is how we support our community. But the donors that, you know, we get from other people, we don't have the physical cash to support, to give to the people. For your little that you can give us and the other people giving, we put it together. We put everything together and, you know, try to support the old my and old papi then. So you guys can see there, they are the ones there. There are more to come. We just started our Instagram um, page because we want to put it out there and we will also do the Facebook page so people can know what we're doing so rest assured that when you donate you will see what your money is going what your money is being used for so we are not here to eat anybody money it's not the intention mm -hmm. so everything that you donate it is being used for the purpose so you're going to see it so yeah. Yeah, so uh, they are seeing your Instagram. It's um, it's okay to message you there, but do you have an email or the, or the Instagram okay. is the best? Yes, we have an email that I will try to get. I just uh, created that email. I can't even remember the, the full uh, email, but that's yeah. something that to put on the Instagram so mm -hmm. that it's available for people to email. And I also uh, did the uh, PayPal and, and oh yeah, the donation button. So anybody who wants to donate there, you can go and donate, or you can just I tried to do the cash app thing, but I don't know why it's not working. Or you can yeah. just send me a message on uh, Instagram. I will always you know reply mm, if you want yeah. to know. Any if you have idea and you just want to share your idea on this platform, you can do so as well. Mm. Or if you just want to uh, keep in contact to tell us, um, you know, how we can improve or whatever we can do or how you want to send your donation, we are also open for that. Mm, so yeah. we have an open book. So anything you want to know about the organization, the foundation is there. Is is waiting there, so yeah. if anything hidden is there for you to support, and you know, just make your old people happy because our old people got so much, so much knowledge, and yeah. we don't, we don't want them to just um, die with the, you know, with the knowledge that they have. Yeah. You will not believe when we have our coffee money, and you hear some of their stories when they're telling you things. You 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 will be so afraid of the knowledge mm. that it so that's something that you you it's it's something in a lifetime you cannot you cannot trade it for anything. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah. I like the I like the name to Age Care Foundation. That's a really good name. Like the yeah. age, it defines what you are trying to do. So, so um, uh, the yeah. Three old uh, yeah, but, but you know, like I said, Angeline, I really, yeah, I really want to bring you on so we can focus on it because if we can help you in any way for you know to to just focus on the foundation, yeah. and anybody who want to help, they can come and help. That would be that would be a a good thing. Somebody say, God bless you for what you are doing for the people. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Is this much better than small small courses? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
you see mm -hmm. that's true thank you so much angeline for coming i know it's late to you yeah i yeah thank you for having me thank you so yeah. much do you have anything to say to angeline before she leave quick um, oh. oh angeline do you have anything to say to comfort Yes, um, says Comfort, thank you so much for, you know, all of your knowledge that you sp um, you um, share on this channel. The, the things that you said, those are things that I didn't even know about. As I said, um, the only president that I really uh, interacted with, not uh, physically, but uh, saw and, you know, had few words with was uh, Charles Tito. Mm -hmm. but, in the whole time and everything that you explained, it was it was just like a movie that I was watching. And mm. it's good to know your history because if you know things that happened in the past, then you know you know you're going about or how will you, you will go about your life. So there are so many things that are happening uh, that happen in Liberia and we were not um opportune to you know experience other things during the war my family my whole family went to ghana mm. so we spent all that time in ghana when we came back to liberia the war was already over it was not over completely but we didn't really go to you know all that gun firing and everything that happened so mm. there are so many things that happened and today that you can tell this story on the channel it means a whole lot some people watching and they just maybe thinking about what they went through during the war and mm. they coming back and these are things that we we will tell our children children so that they learn from these experiences that they don't go back into that dark you know um, yes. yeah so these are very important stories that we need to put out there. I know some people will say, oh, but what are they talking about? The war business, war finished now. But if, if people say, if you don't know where you're coming from, you will never know where, where you're coming yeah. Good that we know these things so we don't make those mistakes that brought us to where we are today. Yeah. So I especially, yeah, especially today was not just about focusing on one thing like war. Yeah. It was more about you were in that time what yeah. you think about this what you think because for me i like these stories it it helps you to to understand and not have them not be one-sided and not be just single-minded when i was in when i was growing up in sino people used to say this about crown people the other person then when i went to grand g there then other people would say this about this person the gear people did this but the idea of going both area and experiencing different places and coming across people who are geared to coming across people who are crying coming so you know it, it helps me a lot to be a better person to have open mind for everybody mm -hmm. and then i use my own parent as an example my my stepfather is from um Bon county he's a parent um so i'm like you know when my parents are very open-minded and so it helps us too to say okay you learn from it too you're like okay you know what my parent can be the best example but for me these things discussing them is great especially yeah. somebody who was there and you they witnessed it they heard it like somebody talking about just a work out time you were in liberia what do you think there are people there that are witnessing some of the things that are happening so they they really know the story better than somebody who like myself who was baby when at the end of door um before the war came out just our baby so i didn't even know what was going on i was just i think four years old when 1990 war came so um yeah it's good to know these things and they they like minded liberians i'm sure they will want to learn from these things only people that just run with everything and make everything political or have that one mind one way traffic mind they're the people that won't listen but some of us that really want the country to be great yeah. we will liberia to be great we want to learn things so we know how to interact with other liberian so we have respect for other liberian without the travel thing you know that's mm -hmm. for me that's my mindset so angeline thank you so much um for coming thank you and you know my passion about liberia if i'm ready to talk now they are not gonna end <laughs> you're not gonna sleep <laughs> Yeah, but thank you for coming, sis. Uh, if my if my girl want comfort, if you want, we can chat a little bit before you go. Up, like if you... Oh yeah, so I can go and sleep. 
I need to okay. get me early tomorrow morning. <laughs> Play me tomorrow when you're sleeping. That Jefferson back. Okay, I got new new for you. New name, Jeff. What's that? Jeff. Yeah. That's a short call for Jefferson. Yeah, that, no, that's why my 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 family call me to Jeff sometimes. Okay, but is yeah. your father watching this show? Uh, he might watch it later because he's always watching my show. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that was good, though. You know me. I on my way. I won't go to now. Mm. Yeah, I won't go to I'm preparing for it. Okay. Yeah. So I can join her. That's good thing. That's a good thing. I, I I got to be part of something, you know. Yeah, Angeline, it's a it's a very good person. You need to know she's nobody is putting more than that girl. She got great heart too for people. I never mm -hmm. heard Angeline, you know, like having a bad day and she says something bad in some way. Like you call her, she's overstressed. Mm -hmm. She's always smiling. She always having a good mindset. Has the passion for Liberia. And, you know, she's always going back there. But this person said, doing uh, Jacob, he's been watching. Thank you so much, Jacob. You've been commenting tonight. Uh, I appreciate the support. Um, doing Tubber, I was just a young boy. And yeah. Joe, I was big boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's the one, I think he said someday he would like to, you know, come on the live or something. So, yeah, you can just um, message us on Facebook, Liberian TV. Network and I'll respond to your message. Then we will discuss that. And you see, Comfort will come. Comfort, who I'm interviewing today, she can come and be my co-host mm -hmm. with, with my with my sis Angeline. I have a lot of co-hosts though. It's just I don't like to bother them too much. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes I don't, I don't. But now that I have a lot of co-hosts, if one group of people can make it, somebody will come to make it. So it's it's a good thing. But Comfort is my co-host too. I like how she she asks questions sometimes. It, how she asked question like she was asking Angeline. Um, yeah, so so you say you'll go to Liberia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to go to Liberia now. In fact, yeah. I would imagine to stay here. But the, the reason some I haven't gone yet probably because it, I see people flying all over the country when they're sick, you know, then they don't have a hospital. Anybody can get sick anytime, you know? Yeah, but you but you know you know what some people do. Some people go to Liberia. It does you know because like if you are doing every month, every six month checkup or every one year checkup, mm -hmm. um, you can always stay in Liberia and then you always come if you. Yeah, that's what my sister told me. I know about yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, so you are going back and forward. You know, it's it's also not good for you to just sit in Liberia the whole time. No, you gotta you, you gotta go there. You got my my. Yeah. My yeah. That is different now. Yeah, especially somebody like you, if you are not working, mm -hmm. it's a good thing for you. You can stay in Liberia sometime, especially mm -hmm. it depending on which the, the type of weather you like there, because I know it, people say in the dry season it's oh my it's god, cold. I was yeah. naked when I went there. It yeah, got, it harder right now in Liberia than before. Mm. I don't know why? So I used to be I used to be almost naked, but I'm crazy because man, I can't take heat, I don't like heat. <laughs> yeah, my brother, my brother is there now. He's, he's he he lives in Atlanta, but he went to visit Liberia. I know he posted on Facebook. That's what I'm saying now on the platform. So, <laughs> but yeah, he's there, and you see him. He's been talking about the heat there. But yeah. yeah, it's it's like when when I that's when I my hope is before I decide to move. My first thing is a visit. Mm. But before I decide to move there, I want to have my own house there, my pool. Oh yeah! Because when it had you can jump in a pool, you know you you cool down. Did you see that picture? I I I, I somebody was showing the richest man in Liberia. I don't know that true. I I I I, I say you that. Oh that yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah. 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 Oh, the person lying. Because the richest. Yeah. Well, you see, it's people. The person who's that man? They didn't call him Nemo. Yeah, you know, Liberia, it's kind of hard for, for you to know a richest man in Liberia because most of the people that have the money, their money is not um, hard-earned money. Some of them, they are corrupt. Yeah. And because most of the big businesses in Liberia that's supposed to make somebody rich are all Lebanese and foreigners. Yeah, foreigners. So, so you don't get a Liberian that say, I had a big business, I have a big corporation. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. the, the, 
does a Liberian own uh, Orange Money or do we have a Liberian that own Lone Star Money? Those are all the foreign businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, until Liberian, you'll get you'll start seeing Liberian millionaire billionaire if mm-hmm. Liberians start becoming like um, other people in, in who are highly invested in the country in their country, mm-hmm. creating bigger uh, corporation companies. It's possible Liberian can do it, mm-hmm. but they just don't. Everything is about politics. Let's like just say once they, you know, it's all about I get known. The next thing you know, I'm I want to go to Liberia and be president. For me, it's not about that. <laughs> I want to I want to focus on something else, do things, you know. It, Invest, be, that's not, yeah, being president private. should be huh? Yeah, you see a be a private person at least. Yeah, private person. Senator, yeah. representative, yeah. Uh, only job. Yeah, becoming a president, all those positions should be about wanting to make a real change. It shouldn't right. be something that you want to really do to enrich yourself. Enrich you know? Yeah, and that's the different mindset that Liberians don't have. You know, it should be this position should be about making it so I can already be rich, and then I say I want to run for president. At least I want to make a change. That's the passion. Right. So, yeah, you see in the U.S. here, yeah, a lot of these people that run the presidential candidate, nobody really comes from, nobody's really poor. They're not like, poor. They're poor. They don't have nothing. Mm. Like a lot of Liberian um, lawmakers, you see somebody had nothing. When it becomes this, before you know it, they are oh, shiny cool. now. National. <laughs> yeah. And that's the reason. <laughs> I don't know why they don't have a brain. They have a brain. The, the thing is, they just we are we are we Liberian. We Liberian. We are brainwashed to believe that politics is the only thing, you know. So you everybody today selling Kobo today because in government now you rich. Yeah, yeah. So people can watch. They can see you. Jealous but, you and stuff. but you see, this is the problem too. Even you can sell because things. They, they, have, they are mentally ill. All of them. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Well, that's why now Liberia is getting really bad because anybody now can just cost anybody. Like it becoming too bad now in that country. Like you see all now you get cost. Yeah, you see all the costing going on now from 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 press conferences to Facebook videos. Everybody now costing everybody. It's like wow, this country is really getting bad. Like there's no decency anymore. Where people just go on Facebook or on on their own. Price conference or anything in public, what what next? That's what frustration. Up. People are frustrated. Yeah, what is what is left? Frustration will change the people. You know. No, no. I mean, frustration beginning to do it. Like like me yeah. now, I see the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. Pretty like, man, come on. When will my country change and do something better? I hear you. Mm. But you see, we all can make a change. We all can make that, like the people, we all can make it happen. Like a lot of times people point finger at one person. And I think it's, it's we should hold people accountable in all areas. Why is car going the opposite direction? Who is the, who is, who's supposed to make all the traffic rule and enforce them? Who's supposed to? So we have to really blame everybody in their area. If the airport is bad, when you get to library, if the airport is bad, you ask question: Who is in charge of the Apple? Who is running things? Is there any system? So for me, I think everybody has to be blamed in certain area. Yeah, but Who's supposed to ask the people that are not doing stuff now. Well, if uh, taking all the Apple, who's will tell if they're not doing the red? Who's will advise them or, or, you know, tell them what to do? Who's supposed to do it? You, you know. You know, they, they no, no, they won't, they won't listen to me. That's what I'm saying. Like the leadership, <laughs> the above leadership supposed to put system yeah. in place. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, it's supposed to put system in place so that people are doing the right thing. You know, if you go to, for example, I'm not saying it's compared to that, but when you go to our channel, we have like every day there are certain person posting this video and at certain time. Mm. Certain days, certain time, there has to be video. You don't miss that time, not even one minute. I don't want to see it. So, it's, a lot now. so I, it's that so my that people, people yeah. you see, my, spoon, spoon, mm-hmm. that spoon I've been watching. Yeah. I see you, I'll be watching you too. Yeah. Yeah, so all of us send me notification. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 
if you see for, for me, I'm trying to do things a little bit different with a positivity mm -hmm. where, you know, bringing people like you and somebody could be inspired by, get inspired by your story, bringing mm -hmm. someone like Angeline, then that, that focus on the positive stuff. Other mm -hmm. people can do their thing. You know, everybody's yeah. different. Yeah, everybody has their niche and those people have more view too, which is great. But everybody can do the same thing. My thing is to shine spotlight on Liberian mm -hmm. who either you have good story or you you have something good going or this going. We still post breaking news too. It's like it's something happening, we go there and post it on YouTube. Now mm -hmm. Facebook is kinda we we don't post video that much on Facebook, but YouTube we always post in video every day. Breaking news, all this stuff that happening, even outside of Monrovia. Yeah. I think I need to charge my phone. You're getting like. No, see, I myself too, I need to go. So. It's, it's getting low. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. So, but but I know we, we have a good talk today. Mm -hmm. Is that something you want to tell me before you go? No, anytime you need me, just let me know. And then okay. I will come. Like, oh, like, right. I don't work right now. Okay. So if this is even keeping me a little bit busy right now. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, then I'm so trying. The day I told you the next day my energy level was too high. I was cooking, doing all kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, hey, your energy level. I said, yeah. The, the guy I told you, he really, 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 really. He, he worked on me. On what did I, What did I do now to work on you? Smiles and the way you look, you know, you smile and you mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so right now the depression too much. So angry every day. Yeah, because that's what we are. We were just talking. We were just talking with all the negativity. Can, yeah, you know, negative negative energy brings bad energy and bad. You feel bad about the, it brings a lot of depression and and all these worry and all this stuff. Because even if it's not you, if you hear like they, that's why I say I don't watch the news these days because it's like it's too much. Facebook, yeah. yeah, so it's like when you talk to somebody, if I'm talking to you, we are talking, we are smiling, I'm joking, I'm, you know, all those things, there's a positivity, and, you know, all this stuff. Negative, not good, man. Energy, yeah. Like negative. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I can, I, I can, I can energize you. And, and, yeah, I'm telling the truth from my heart. Yeah. yeah. Look at the way I dress today, sir. So yeah, yeah pajama, I lying down. Yeah. <laughs> I went in my suitcase. I took this suit. I wore it. You know, yeah, this, this yeah. yeah. My girl, my girl, real dress for me. You looking good? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 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 thank you so much. I really been having a good time. Like you, yeah, it's been great having you. I like your energy too. You are very, and you know, you 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 you're very energetic. Like yesterday, we were talking. You were telling me. You know, the conversation we had, it was, it was great. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Yeah. And, and you are welcome anytime when the show is going on. I'll try to email you the link. Yeah. So so you can come up. The reason I do the, the link thing, because that way I'm going live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. It's mm -hmm. not just when I control who comes on the show. Mm -hmm. Facebook, anybody can call. I like to do the Facebook thing, too. If you see me on Facebook, you can come on. I'll okay. be doing Facebook, yeah. I'll be doing Facebook a lot. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate mm -hmm. you. And mm -hmm. I think I think that person that was trying to help you earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything, anything you need, uh, if I know you, I will share with you, okay? Absolutely. I will I will I will always uh, you know call you. I did though he came to purchase some stuff yeah and then he didn't go back that was door trying to make him go back yeah yeah he was yeah that's true he came to he, you know he was a gsa person so he came to purchase some equipment mostly right. I, think, I think weapon for the government or some equipment no, and not he, i think yeah. funny and stuff like that yeah so but then he did huh i don't know that weapon but it was like furniture gsa like you purchase furniture yeah they furnished the, the various offices and he took the money, he didn't go back. Yeah, because um they said that um yeah, because though accused him at the time for embezzlement. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yeah. So he's, well, I think that there's maybe he's still money or something, but yeah, Todd Taylor was somebody else when, when he went back. Did you did you ever come across Doe when he was president, like to 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 see him in person? Yeah, I was oh. yeah, executive manager. Yeah. You know the executive manager in Liberia? Yeah, of course. The capital building, yeah, executive manager. Yeah. Doe, he, he came in the executive, I mean, a, in the capital building. Mm. The annual report or whatsoever they got. Yeah, state of the I nation. Saw, I saw him physically with my eyes. Mm. Yeah. But now it's close, but you were in a yeah. place and I went around that area and I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. Man. How was it working in that capital building? Was it was it was it good? Uh, like you go to work, and, you know, what was the vibes? But, like me, I, I'm a president who let to be on time. I used to go to work on time, but they come, they said that they came, they went back, they didn't stay on the job, it was just like mm. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing the same thing now. They they do the same thing. People go to work 10 a.m. by 12, they, they take come the, and they leave. Yeah. Uh, People come to work 10 a.m. by by 12, they take lunch break to 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 maybe 1 30 or 2. They come back and two, and then by three. I'm not talking about the senator them. I don't know how they are scheduled. You know, I won't do it. Yeah. They are the bosses. Yeah. Well, one thing I know, even me here as a boss in my job, mm -hmm. is, is that I'm the first to I'm always. Let me right back. I'm no you. problem. No problem. Stop, stop, stop. Go ahead. I'm the first to go to work, and I'm the last to leave when you are in charge of things. But in Liberia, people go to work. Yeah, they are the bosses. They come yeah. late, then they then they leave early. Yeah. Yeah, and it's that how are you gonna be productive? You know, you're supposed to be a leader. You yeah. are in lead. Yeah, huh? you're in church. Yeah, you. Yeah, you got to lead by example. You're supposed to be the first to go, the last to lead. So if your employee is supposed to go by eight a.m., you're supposed to be there by six a.m. That's the rules. That's what we do. Some of what we do out here. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You want your, yeah. your you want your employees to follow your lead. You got lead. You lead yeah, you, you got to set the example. Yeah, example. I can be, I can be telling my employee why are you late when I'm going to work more than two hours late. It's like no, it doesn't make sense. So, yeah, no sense. but it's a Liberian thing. Nobody check on those things. Nobody has a strict yeah. rules. Nobody has a straight rule. Everybody just do. It's like everything in Liberia now. I don't mean to say Liberia is a bad place, but I, it's like everything in Liberia doesn't go straight. Like everybody doing their own thing. That's how it's looking now. Yeah, everybody doing their own thing. Uh, <laughs> that forever. I don't see anything yeah. change. What I see today, that the same thing happening today. That's what makes mm. me mad. People die. You kill people because mm. they don't do it. You can't let you do the same thing. Yeah. Um, it been like that. That's why our country has is not moving on because it's not moving forward because yeah, they're just killing people because yeah. they want getting power. You kill a person, you can't do the same thing. What you kill yeah. a person for? You can't yeah. get anything. The city will do. Yeah. They, they are just showing a horse door bill when you see it in a hard forest right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 so. Yeah. There's somebody put it on Facebook recently. I think I, I want to share it. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen it. Start grass growing in our house. Mm. What all that money went in being for? Mm -hmm. They can renovate it and make it maybe like a hotel or something. I don't know. Be so who, it's only in, in, in the forest right now. Forest all around. It's snake. All who's, who, yeah. who's, who's your favorite president of all time? I got no favorite president. <laughs> okay. Serious, I tell you from my heart. Yeah, no, no, that's good though. I mean, not if some of us we it's kind of hard to decide. I got no, I got no favorite person from the one I saw growing up. You see, Todd Monta, my uncle, when the label come up people, mm. so he's in third grade, they're talking all the school, they're saying bad in the village because they don't want to speak the language. So he will he can speak both English and and and, and the parent now. On your farm, the rubber farm. And they know, and they know, they, know. they open their school 
the, the person who had a rubber plantation, they took the land from there, they pay, they, they, they plant a huge rubber, and they, my grandparents came to live on that same land they took from them and begin to touch the people raw, the common people raw. Mm. They didn't even open a school for her. My grandmother had seven children. None of them went to school. All oh, illiterate. And then they know the they know the yeah. Tara is he was a, 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 a young guy molester. He built a a a, a mission in, in, in Balatua that he that he, where he found it. He put bunch of teenage girls that used to go there. October? Tell the dormitory, bring that girl in my mansion. So all you, mean, now, you mean Tubber? Eh? You mean Tubber? Yes. Mm. He's a molester, young girl. Eh? Mm. But I mean, on the other side, you are sending some people to school, the mm. uh, Pago Mafia then. But he, he's a molest girls. But you see, one thing I like about you, the thing what I like about you, you've been fair so far. You're not on one person side. Like you're not no, saying no, no. I'm mad you, because nobody yeah. no change. Yeah. Kill plenty of people, no change. It, it's so sad, no. You yeah. should have a you should have a, a system. What you say it's not good for you, it's not good for other people too. Yeah. I like your mindset. I like how no, it's you... not good. Though it was not good. Totma was not good, though was not good. Tower was not good. And Joe, we have our oh 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 oh. That one about thing, but he said, "Damn." Wait, wait, you you don't like about Joe? We had me. I just asking. He lied. Okay. And he stole from the country. The country he brought too many drugs in the country. The children are sick. Yeah. All in the street, there, Kush. What do you think about the new the new government? They want by the I I, I want to get late change, so, but the thing I see. They, 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 he sent somebody in the Senate to be confirmed. Then he changed his mind again. So I don't know, I don't know who's ruling him or <laughs> who's yet to be. <laughs> I said, you, 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 you might want, you might want that, Omar. You, you play, you're very, you're very straight. We see that person, yeah, that all my, all my children, they say they scare me, they say I too straight. Yeah, no, it's so, good. I see somebody do bad thing, I tell you, I, I had to sugar coat nobody. Yeah, it could have been straight. That's that's the way you see. I'm not I'm God, but at least you know I'm not God mm -hmm. to say I'm perfect. No, but some people can can just lie to you when they see you falling. They don't tell you the truth. It's good for me to know my downfall and, and face it. Yeah. And for somebody to get sugar coat me, you know, make me to feel good because they don't want me to get mad with them. I rather I rather somebody tell me the truth. And telling me the lie and fooling myself. Yes. You know, that was the problem with our former presidents, them, because the people suck, ain't the people sucking up to them and telling them you are doing good when they were yeah. not doing good. Yeah. So you're right. But anyway, so, um, next time we can we can we can continue this conversation. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.